My beloved child, know that what I am about to share comes not from a place of judgment or disappointment, but from a place of infinite wisdom and compassion. The path ahead may seem daunting, but remember that I am with you always, even in the darkest of times. My child, life as you know it is about to change. The comfortable routines you've established, the plans you've made for your future, the expectations you've set for yourself, all of these are about to be shaken to their very core. This news may bring fear, confusion, and even anger, but I ask you to trust in my divine plan, for it is greater than anything you could imagine. The world around you is entering a period of great transformation. The foundations that seemed so solid are beginning to crumble, revealing the impermanence of earthly things. This change is necessary, for it will pave the way for a new era of growth, understanding, and spiritual awakening. But the transition will not be easy, and many will struggle to find their footing in this new reality. You, my beloved, have been chosen to play a crucial role in this time of change. The gifts I have bestowed upon you, your compassion, your strength, your unwavering faith, will be needed more than ever. The challenges you will face are not punishments, but opportunities for growth and for you to become the person I always knew you could be. In the coming days, you will lose something that you hold dear. It may be a relationship, a job, a possession, or even an aspect of your identity that you've long relied upon. This loss will feel devastating, like a piece of your very soul has been torn away. You may question why I, in my infinite love, would allow such pain to befall you. But remember, my child, that sometimes it is only through loss that we can truly appreciate what we have and discover strengths we never knew existed within us. This loss will set in motion a series of events that will test you in ways you've never been tested before. You will face obstacles that seem insurmountable, decisions that appear impossible, and moments where giving up feels like the only option. In these times, I urge you to remember my words, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. As you navigate these turbulent waters, you may find that some of those you considered friends will turn away from you. Their own fears and insecurities may lead them to misunderstand your journey. This rejection will sting, but it will also make room for new relationships that will support and uplift you in ways you never thought possible. Trust that I am guiding the right people into your life at the perfect time. My child, I must also warn you that your faith will be tested. There will be moments when you feel I have abandoned you, when my presence seems distant and my love feels like a fading memory. In these dark nights of the soul, cling to the knowledge that I am always with you, even when you cannot feel me. Your doubts and questions are not signs of weakness, but opportunities for your faith to deepen and mature. The path ahead will require you to let go of many things you thought defined you. Your old ways of thinking, your preconceptions about the world and your place in it, all of these will be challenged. Embrace this process of unlearning and relearning, for it is through this that you will discover your true self, the person I created you to be. There will be times when you feel completely alone, misunderstood by everyone around you. Remember that I understand you perfectly, every thought, every fear, every hope. In your solitude, Listen for my voice. It may come as a whisper in the wind, a sudden realization or a comforting presence in your heart. I will guide you, step by step, through this journey, my beloved. The hard news I bring is not just about personal challenges, but also about the state of the world around you. You will witness suffering on a scale that may overwhelm you. Natural disasters, conflicts, and societal upheavals will shake the foundations of what you thought you knew about the world. In the face of such widespread pain, you may question my plan, my very existence. Know that each of these events, as tragic as they may seem, serves a greater purpose in the tapestry of existence. I am calling you to be a light in this darkness. Your compassion, your ability to love unconditionally, will be needed more than ever. You will be presented with opportunities to serve others in ways that may push you far beyond your comfort zone. Embrace these chances to be my hands and feet in the world, 
for it is through serving others that you will find true fulfillment. The journey ahead will require you to face your deepest fears and confront the parts of yourself that you've long kept hidden. You will need to look into the mirror of your soul and acknowledge both the light and the shadow within you. This self-reflection may be painful, but it is necessary for your growth and transformation. As you navigate these challenges, you may find that your purpose in life is not what you always thought it was. The dreams and ambitions you've held onto may need to be released to make way for a higher calling. Trust that I have a plan for you, a purpose that is uniquely yours to fulfill. It may not look like what you expected, but it will bring you a depth of joy and satisfaction beyond anything you've experienced before. My child, I know that this news is not easy to hear. The human part of you may rebel against these coming changes, longing for the comfort and security of the familiar. But I urge you to embrace this journey with an open heart and mind. Remember that growth often comes through discomfort, and that the most beautiful diamonds are formed under immense pressure. In the times ahead, you will need to cultivate resilience like never before. There will be days when getting out of bed feels like an insurmountable task, when the weight of the world seems to rest on your shoulders. In these moments, draw strength from me. Remember that my power is made perfect in weakness, and that it is often in our most vulnerable states that we are most open to my grace. You may wonder why I've chosen you for this difficult path, Know that it is not because you are flawed or in need of punishment, but because I see in you the potential for extraordinary growth and impact. The challenges you will face are not meant to break you, but to reveal the unshakable core of who you truly are. As you walk this path, be prepared for moments of intense joy and profound revelation alongside the difficulties. You will experience glimpses of my glory that will take your breath away. Moments of connection with others that will remind you of the fundamental unity of all creation. These experiences will serve as beacons of hope, guiding you through the darker passages of your journey. My beloved, I want you to understand that the hard news I bring is not the end, but a beginning. It is the start of a new chapter in your life, one that will lead you to heights you never dreamed possible. The pain and challenges you will face are the labor pains of a new birth, the birth of a stronger, wiser, more compassionate you. As you move forward, remember these words, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Even in the midst of turmoil, hold on to this promise. Your future is bright, filled with purpose and meaning beyond what you can currently imagine. I am calling you to a life of courage, my child. Courage to face your fears, to stand up for what is right even when it's difficult, to love fiercely in a world that often chooses hate. This courage will not always feel like strength. Sometimes it will feel like taking one more step when all you want to do is give up. But I promise you, I will be with you for each of those steps. In the days to come, you will need to learn the art of surrender. Not a passive giving up, but an active yielding to my will and my timing. This surrender will require trust on a level you've never experienced before. It will mean letting go of your need for control and allowing me to guide you, even when the path seems unclear. My child, as you process this hard news, allow yourself to feel all of your emotions. Your anger, your fear, your sadness, all of these are valid. I am big enough to handle your questions, your doubts, and even your disappointment. Pour out your heart to me for I am your loving Father who listens and understands. Remember that this journey is not just about you. The transformation you will undergo is also for the benefit of those around you. Your story, with all its struggles and triumphs, will become a testament to my faithfulness and a source of hope for others who are walking through their own valleys. As you face the challenges ahead, I urge you to stay connected to your spiritual practices, prayer, meditation, Studying sacred texts, these will be lifelines for you, anchoring you in my love and wisdom when everything else seems uncertain. Make time for stillness, for it is often in quiet moments that you will hear my voice most clearly. My beloved, I know that this news has shaken you. The path ahead may seem daunting, perhaps even impossible, but I want you to know that I have absolute faith in you. I created you. I know every fiber of your being, and I am certain that you have what it takes to not just survive this journey, 
but to thrive. Remember this, my love for you is unchanging. No matter what you face, no matter how far you may feel you've strayed, my arms are always open to you. You are my beloved child, and nothing can ever change that. The road ahead may be difficult, but it leads to a future brighter than you can imagine. Trust in me, lean on me, and know that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Beloved, your super thanks radiate divine grace. Each click fuels our mission to spread God's truth worldwide. Join us in shaping a future of love and compassion. Click to receive blessings. Remember, the more super thanks you give to us, the more blessings and love God will bestow upon you. So give super thanks to us as per your wish. I shower my abundant blessings upon you, precious child of mine. Let each day of your week be filled with energy, with all shadows of any kind of fear melting away. Stand tall, brushing off even the slightest shadow of defeat from your thought process. Attune your soul to my words with the onset of each day. Let my promises be enabled with your most powerful words. Smile from within with a glow in your eyes as you, with firm belief, expect the flows of abundance coming your way. In that cross, your victory was sealed. Your enemies were overcome, and through my resurrection while you were put to shame. You are saved from the hand of death. I gave you the spirit to direct your feelings and to make you strong to put aside all mourning. You are not to go that way of despair, to feel you are not enough, or that others are better than you. I only wish that you don't live bracing for missteps where your dreams grow weary, your spirit worn, and your goals lie buried in a grave of hopelessness. My dear, I am the core of your existence. Your faith is strong enough that you are lifted over and above everything, including every trial and tribulation, to be ushered into a life of total bliss. For may you pass through trials and suffer, but the spirit living in you is mightier, that it may crush every mountain and destroy every chain should you give your whole life to my will. Before you lies an expanse of blessing, yet if you settle for mere scraps from those envious of your potential, if you allow yourself to be dominated by those who belittle and harm you, if you persist in accepting their lies, then you will find yourself imprisoned within their world of mourning and despair. This is not the life or future I have foreseen for you. Listen to my voice until the very end. Oh, my words, they must be passed on. Feel the power of my promises, for they are alive and aflame. Plunge into that word of yours and let its truths kindle your brain. They will burn off all the dross, chase all gloom from your life, purify every corner of your being, and cast a wonderful light on your future path. My counsel concerning you is filled with purpose, that your purpose might stand and decree that your plans might remain firm and perform. I long for your prosperity in all things, even as your spirit prospers. Be courageous, proclaim your love for me at this point. Say it with all belief, and invite the blessing that is manifesting and will soon be apparent. Trust in me, your blessing is coming and nothing can negate my will. Let go all your worries, for you are loved and protected by the Supreme Monarch, the Master Architect of the Universe, the All-Powerful Divine Parent. Feel the warmth of my embrace, embrace the strength, the tranquility, and the wisdom I give you this day. The problems that weigh you down will all simply melt away without a trace of shame, disappointments, mockery, embarrassments, quarrels, or conflicts. Follow my lead always and pay no attention to the nagging grumbles of your being. Throw out thoughts of hopelessness, sadness, sadness, or defeat. You crying will cease, and then your smiling will return. As I speak, so shall it be. You shall rise up, and all will witness in you the proof of my love and goodness. I call you to the victory to rise and show to the world my reality, my word's truth, and the vastness of my grace which is so powerful so as to change the mighty heart. All your sorrows will be turned into joy. I will stitch up your emotional hurts and fill you with the necessary peace to hold strong. Come close to me daily. Do not deceive yourself by the notion that you could ever be away from my embrace. Even if you venture to exist in the most isolated places, my spirit shall find you and guide you gently homeward and take you into his embrace. Soak in my blessing this very moment and let my healing hands be upon you. I desire to fill you with unspeakable joy, 
new reasons to find life precious. My strength dwells in you. The words you speak are powerful seeds that, tended by your faith and trust, will grow into strong trees bearing the miraculous fruits of my limitless affluence. In time, the path in this world has been illuminated by the light that I gave unto you at your birth. I love you and I can't wait to bless you. Proclaim with your own voice your belief in me, and immense joy will be yours. Face your day's tasks with vigor. Should your energy wane, I am right beside you, ready to uphold you in your moment of need. Do not hesitate to request good things from me. I have promised repeatedly to bless you and provide all you need to thrive. When burdens bring you down, seek a sanctuary in my presence. Come close to me, lay your burdens at my feet, and if you are overpowered by weariness, then let your tears flow. The sorrows of yesterday, betrayals, and the abandonment you thought were a result of being alone and misunderstood by those in whom you trusted the most, yet in your loneliest moments, I am with you, privy to your strife, ready to turn your trials into triumphs. I feel your sorrows and am touched to the core, but am here with a message. Your crying and your sorrows have reached unto heaven, unto my holy throne, through which your destiny is being worked upon, unto which every kind of disease is being healed, unto which your problems are discussed, and unto which I bring you comfort for your problems. Now is the time for heaven's door to swing wide, showering abundant blessing into your life, enabling you to sense my peace even in the silence. Whatever it is that you face or whoever it is that is gone, the important reality is my contact with you, releasing your spirit from fear and self-doubt. Free your worries. Accept my love and go on without wavering. It is not how fast you go, but how you keep the faith along the way. The objective is not to rush, but to stay the course and be victorious. I am here with you, protecting you, your family, and your work. Keep your cheerful and joyful expectation as you savor this beautiful day I give to you. Remember, I am your all-powerful God. I will not disappoint you. I promised you prosperity. Why shy away with faith when trials find you? My love for you will end never. My blessings never cease. Why let worry or dread take up your peace? Turn aside from the lies of the world. Seize the truth of my presence here with you. But before you leave, let us strike a deal. Lay all your burdens on me. I will gently reach out to you and quiet your heart. Giving peace. Agrees my words be true to you. Spread this message of my love and might to the needy ones. Hear this from the depth of my heart that I love you profoundly, and I do not wish any more suffering for you. I see the gigantic fights that you are fighting. You have become so tired. You try to maintain your facade and not let others see the pain in your eyes or to understand how much you are pulling through and... But I know you more deeply than you know yourself. You see in the mirror each day only the outward shadow, but I behold the real you the true form of your spirit. And in your bravery I want you to trust me. Why fear to tell me you carry them? I am here to gather every tear and lift you from their despair. Let go of all your questions and burdens and leave it to me. You are blessed to be a privilege as my child, and I feel cascades of blessings and wonders upon you and your loved ones. Expect and behold renewing your inner person with cheerful content in seeing my promises happen in your life. I am with you all the time and my angels are vigilant guardians directing you away from harm. As that new dawn comes, first seek me and see how your day changes, and in my benevolence, I shall engulf you in gentle love and cause peace in your heart. If challenges do come unexpectedly, call my name silently, and I shall illuminate thy choices to bestow on thee wisdom and signs to find thy way. Rest assured, for my plans for thee are of the highest good, depending only on the pureness and faithfulness of thine heart. Ask, and thou shalt receive, but only according to my plan. No adversity can conquer thee or cause harm, because thou art a beloved child of the highest. My hand upon yours upon every way, for there is leading of horizons. Whatsoever you do, in my name, hallowed, shall prosper to achievement and fortune in all honesty. With me for your ally shall flourish your intention and efforts, for I alone am going to see and change your future. Marked your household will be with my grace, under the shadow of my being, and of their prosperity seen. Affliction shall not breach your dwelling, for my essence envelops you, 
repelling malevolent forces and safeguarding against despair, animosity, and bitterness. Your lineage abides in the sanctified safeguarding of my spirit. Share this video with up to three people. If you need God's presence, I have pledged my unfailing devotion to you, and my covenant shall not end. Remember that even faith as small as a mustard seed can grow into the largest of trees. Because just as the mustard seed grows, you will too. Since my words are amazingly strong, strong enough that mountains can be moved in my name, there is no room for doubt here. I am a God of unrelenting love and it does not change, always the same. I will never forsake you because I love you more than words can say. Just as I know everything about you, your feelings, your thoughts, your deeds, for I am your creator, so I fashion you in my image. No resentment or desire for revenge must ever be yours. But I want you to pray for those who have offended you, that they may ultimately know the way to me. Their lives are not fully satisfied, living not by my teaching or commandments, but leave them to me, and I will intercede. For I want that I should touch their heart and open their eyes to the truth. Do not worry over the bad things. Think of me, of what I have promised you, and about all the good I am about to shower on you. Since the first breath and even before, I have been with you, watching you grow, seeing all you go through. Your courage is most admirable, and I am here to fortify you further. Only believe in me and retain unyielding faith, for I am engaged in changing your life. The scars of yesteryears will mend, and pain shall not be your comrade anymore. This is your day, take this moment. Raise your hands and give me your heart to renew and be happy. This year is a turning point, a year for immense change. If you receive my immense love that I offer you, rely on me, and be fearless. I have come to surround you with my love, to stand beside you in times of trouble, proclaiming my eternal presence to be one you can count on not to fail. Not long ago, you petitioned for help in desperate need, and here I am. I always listen, so patient and watching for that exact moment to allow my Holy Spirit to speak to your heart. I see the journey you are on, even when it looks to you shrouded in gloom and uncertainty. I love you for everything, and I would not sit back and watch despair dig its roots in your life. You shall not be overcome by failure, neither shall you be defeated. Do not be troubled by the things which you see, nor by the obstacles along your way, because ahead of you lie a multitude of blessings and favors from heaven. I give you the perception to see that what is apparently a cul-de-sac will in itself become the passageway to new hope and opportunity. From this day forward, nobody can allow anybody to push them around or put them down. You have the protection of your almighty heavenly Father who created everything in heaven and earth at your side. Do not fear man's opinion. Think of the times your adversary has risen up against you, his subterfuge against you, all in vain. There you stand upright and keep on overcoming. Today I anoint you anew with a relish for living. Bless you with a joy that cannot be stolen from you. You are held in my arms, treasured, so very precious, and loved. Your faithfulness and adherence to my teachings will attract my grace to you and your beloved ones. Believe, believe in me wholeheartedly and pure of heart, for your future is held safe by my providence. I will protect you from them who seek to trample on you. You will not be disgraced. The light of my Holy Spirit shall light up your path, and those wronging against you shall one day meet their recompense and you will be like a tree planted beside nourishing streams. You will prosper. There you will produce much fruit for all to see and aspire to. Throughout the ages my presence will envelop you, and you will be drenched in my kindness. Every morning, seek me out. Resist the distractions that draw your attention away from realizing where your good fortune has come from. By my grace and your unyielding love, and through the power of my rising again, I will, therefore, appear to you in ways beyond your imagination. And even now, the deepest sense you have is unbroken. Available to you is the force that created the universe. Rise with me. Be not afraid of any challenge or plotting of enemies. Never allow yourself to be enslaved or degraded. Be careful with your children, because I have assigned angels around you to keep at bay any evil intention. Respectfully, do your part to live your faith genuinely and live by lessons given to you. 
The enemy is prowling and is ready to seize on your lapse of attention to destroy my promises. Thus, be alert and protect your faith. Spend time with me each day, coming before me with gratitude and recognizing that everything good in your life flows from my love. I have continually asked for your heart. Do not deny it to me. Give it to me fully, for I am willing to cleanse you from your mistakes. Cleanse your guilt, renew your conscience, and strengthen your faith. I write my lessons deep into your very being, that you may be able to live on a life of dedication and contemplation. If you will give your heart completely to me, tremendous things shall be accomplished. If, on the other hand, you forget our holy relationship, you can slip back into old patterns. Keep in mind, there is much, pure, constant love here. My patience with you is very great, more than you can as yet appreciate, but soon you will come to know this for yourself. I protect and care for what is dear to me. You are so very dear to me. I will bring about what looks impossible for you and show that my words this day to you are bathed in the divine intent for you and yours. Please let me say again, if it must be that tears should fall, allow them, for they shall cleanse the weight from your spirit. Be still and listen to what I say. The words I give you are crucial for your life, your future, and your success. I love you so much. I promise to grant the righteous requests you bring before me in prayer. Come to me, and I will prosper your life, your family, your supplies, and everything you do. I will banish disease from your body, wipe from your mind painful memories, free you from all oppression, liberate you from debt, and encircle you with plenty. For your sake, you are to be like a tree planted beside life-giving waters, strong and green in leaf, plentiful in seed diffusing life and blessing wherever you go. Fear not the heat. You will shelter some who are in distress, and the exhausting wet even in tough times. Your goods will be minimal for your efficiency will continue to be in excess. I will give you my grace and provide you with peace. Commit all your activities to me, and they will effectively be accomplished. You and your family will be protected from any imminent challenges, with my angels always there to protect you. Joy shall be yours. Everlasting happiness shall be your portion. Do not fear or worry, for I am with you. I will give you strength and help. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand in all that you do. Act rightly, for then you act for me. Your work shall reap a wondrous reward. Lean upon me, not upon thine own understanding, for everything in thy life. Acknowledge mine guidance and I will direct thy path. I am thine renewal and thine health. If thou dost stumble, thou shalt rise again. For those believing in me shall live forever. Be humble and gracious. Have a patient and gentle spirit. Do not be disturbed by the troublemakers. Speak in peace, and do not speak in anger or belligerence. I gave you the ability to be fearless, but now I summon prudence in your answers. If once again the fear feeling touches you, then trust in me. Look out for my appearing. For with haste I shall rush to your aid and protect, deliver, and guard you coming and going. Over you in your house and journeys my protecting hand. Remember at dawn, I am your God, the start of a new day, steady, guiding you, gently whispering to you. Fear not, for I am with you. I am your help. If you want to listen to God's message and bring positive changes to your life, then subscribe to the channel. My love for you shall never end. Never feel forsaken, alone, or deserted. The world may remind you of your mistakes to make you guilt-ridden by bringing up your past misdeeds. Just turn a deaf ear to all such voices. Do not let bitterness and sorrow become an integral part of you. Even if others leave you, I will never abandon you. I will not abandon you based on the opinions of others. You're forever cherished, gentle, and genuine before my eyes more precious to me than anything. Let the idle talk of base gossip mongers who misunderstand something not concern you. They forget their own affairs to spend themselves in ill words and lies. Come to me, long for my enlightenment. Take shelter under my protection and clothe yourself in my love. I have created all that you see, the oceans, the heavens, the mountains, and even your being with great love, so that you might dwell in my presence forever. The reign of evil is but for a moment, but you shall live forever. To each human being, 
I have given freedom to choose life and truth. Your heart knew my presence, and you responded with gratitude. Thus I will lavish all my bounties upon thee. We are joined forever. Take heart and fear not. Faint hearts may try to revive your old offenses. Those offenses are pardoned and forgotten by me. They are as far removed as the ocean depths. Just now at this moment, I am stripping the burdens and secret griefs from thy soul, releasing thee from the weights which cling to thy soul. I am going to shift your perspective and give you more valor. I want you to stand up energetically and embrace life. The deepest blessings await a person who has faith in me without doubt who clings to my teachings with humility and never gives in to arrogance. The heavens cheer and celebrate at the choice that you make to allow me into your life, to hold fast unto my doctrine, and through your faith to show your love. I will recover what you have lost. You may go on with confidence, for I am the guardian of thy destiny. Your enemies have no stand against you. Come to me with faith, longing for the great blessings you desire and I am most eager to lavish them on you in abundant love. I am stretching out my hand to you. Take a minute to interiorize what I say. Do not cease to listen to me. I want to transform your mourns into joy. I am going to soothe your concerns, heal the inner scars time has inflicted, cleanse the evidence of hurt, and provide a rejuvenated heart, free of grief and rid of sorrowful remains. No more sleepless nights, haunted by the past or gnawing over past afflictions. I want you to rise every morning knowing how deeply you are loved, knowing that you have been led today as I give this day to you. Today is a day of rejoicing and triumph, one of winning against the darknesses so as to stand in faith and win. Cheer up, for this is why I have saved you, cleansing your soul before me and forgiving all your wrongdoings. Understand something that most people never will. If I've forgiven your sins, I've also forgotten them. I won't bring up your trespasses of the past. You shouldn't live in shame or guilt over what I have forgiven. I know it may be hard to grasp from the human perspective, but you don't have to understand, only believe. Therefore, your future and prosperity truly are in my hands, free from any skepticism. You do not have to go on condemning yourself for the things you have done in the past and the things that have happened. If there are remains of sin still with you, I will give you the strength to fight and win. Listen to my promise. All things work together for good to those who love me. So take my hand, trust in what I promise you, and rise refreshed, emboldened. I have much wonderfulness in store for you, but if you wish to have it, then you must know that in a world of blessings, there is no room for despair or frustration, doubt, or feeble faith. Your faith pleases me, brings joy to my heart. My presence surrounds you, and my spirit anoints you. Let faith be your guiding star and just take my word for it. In no time, within a very short period of time, you will see for yourself, right before your eyes, the manifestation of my promises in your life. I love you so much. I came to tell you the deepest thing, the most powerful thing that you would hear today. Believe with all your heart in my unconditional love for you. It is unconditional and extraordinary love. Be certain that I have been, am, and shall ever be with you. Your family is most dear to me, and I am ordained to answer many of your prayers. The blessings coming forth are mighty and beautiful. Fear not, therefore, for your backing and deliverance are coming from the spiritual realms, and nothing on earth can stand in their way. Yes, tribulations will come. Yes, opposition will arise. Many there be in the realm of spirit who have risen up with zeal and aggression against you. But I say to you, do not fear. Disaster shall not come near you. My angels are around you, and my glory shall be your defense against all dangers. Judge not nor be angry, even when thy dearest friends persecute thee. Your contest is not with flesh and blood, but with the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenlies. This is the unseen enemy who lays traps to catch you through his emissaries and agents in efforts to withstand your charge, to infuse such despair into you that you would fall and never rise again. From now on, then, standing up against such dark spiritual entities requires that you be summoned to join my legion of angels in exaltation and adoration. At the break of dawn, kneel down and pray. It is very important now that the end times are very close. Ready your spirit, 
alert your kin, and come together in devotion within your house. Allow my Holy Spirit to lead in your life. I shall drape you with self-control, and I will shoo away trepidation and fill your essence with bravery. Though cunning and deceiving, the enemy isn't to be feared. He is truly helpless. He is neither everywhere present nor everywhere powerful and far less everywhere knowing. He doesn't know what I'm doing, but from his viewpoint, he sees what I have done in you and is green with envy at your success. The fear of this enemy may cause some to quiver and forget that they are protected by a God so great and unmatched in strength. You live under the safeguard of your supreme God. You are covered by my grace. You cannot be slandered. I am your shield and intercessor. Nothing is strong enough to wrench you from my grasp. Stand firm, unshakable in dread. Secure your mind. Reject the notion that the adversary possesses greater might than your divine protector. Despite his tenacity and guile, he lurks, waiting to pounce in moments of inactivity or vulnerability, aiming to overwhelm you during times of weakness or oversight. When you find yourself gasping for air or teetering on the brink of despair, reach out to me in prayer, shout out, and I will respond. I will be your strength and shield. Do not be alarmed. When children, or their future, seem to cause you much worry, don't worry but commit them into prayer. Put them under my watchful eye. Truly, I will guard them. They shall be safe in my shelter and care, for I love them as much as I love you. March forward, fully convinced, I will strengthen you to stand strong. Don't let sufferings despise your spirit, for I am able to give to you my joy and my peace and bless you with grace, so that without an anxious worry, you may share in my goodness. I will be your protector and defender. Thus I will protect and defend you and yours against all evil. Draw after your families to accept me, to open their lives to me, to provide for them and bless them through my goodness, as the loving Father that I am. For I have not, nor ever will, leave you alone, for I am God above all. Share this video with up to three people. If you need God's presence, whatever they do or say against you, my love for you doesn't change. Just wait and see the good I have in store for you, the opening of doors which, to you, are shut. And this will be the start of your finest times. Mine are the promises you can hold fast to. Mine are commandments that lie before you. Come into each new day prepared and in expectation of the new revelation I bring to you. Humble your spirit, practice your devotion daily, and be always on guard against the adversary, who is prowling about constantly. Keep awake, lest worldly attractions and weaknesses beset you, to obscure your remembrance of the vows which you have made to me, and to introduce enticements to you, to turn you from the path. I now declare you fearless and strong, triumphant and long-suffering. Your faith is unshakable. Your commitment to serving me is laudable. Change your mentality. You are no longer, nor will you ever be, a prey to the enemy, for he has already been conquered. You are more than conquerors, and I am at your right hand. Stand up straight and say, I am a strong servant of my heavenly Father. I walk in boldness because the power from heaven has been lightened by his miracles in my heart. My family and I live under his care, covered with benediction, cradled in his love. Hold on to me so you don't lose your footing. Lose balance while being battered by waves of turmoil. Wrap you in my holy covering and keep the world's cold away. You are virtue as I see your essence despite adversities. Affirm the faith in your kind soul full of deep emotions. This is another wake-up call to fight hard for family and dreams. Let me show your blessings on your right hand and take you on a path to let go of whatever is not serving you on your left. If some drift away or silence their words toward you, then let them go. There is no clinging to or mourning for these people, since by their choices and missteps they abandon their very blessings, loosen the fist over worldly goods. They trap so many who think their things grand, but they are a mere distraction. They have traded their highest calling for temporary earthly riches, forgetting my plan and turning their backs on the promise of eternal life. Yet do not fear either prosperity or hard times. I am always with you. I am your shepherd, your Father in heaven, come today to set you free, redeem you, set you free, heal you, bestow on you my peace, enrich you, 
lift you higher from where you are right now, drenching you with my blessings and grace. Wherever you go, my favor and grace shall attend to you. I am going to flood your life with prosperity in the sight of those who despise you. I will bless you and your family with joy and abundance. You have gone through so many dark nights, waiting in tears and desperation, and at times you felt all was lost. Heaven had closed its doors and my responses were unreachable. But I'm here now, to once again reassure you of my promise, to tell you that every plea you raised up before me was heard. I am the protector against your malice, the shield from grievous harms, tucking your life in my hands so tenderly and never leaving your side. My presence seemed invisible to you in your turmoil, my comfort, unfelt as you lay engulfed by pain and dismay, coupled with an inveterate view of adversities thrown your way, almost drifting away from me. Yet faith persists, unextinguished, even in the times when your heart roamed desolation. A spark of its flame lived on, whispering through those silent nights to a mind that had a heavenly father who cared so much for you. Surrender in the morning songs of an alert, watching, ever protecting Almighty. When the foe returns with his false whispers to sway your steps off the course, rise and say confidently, My life is in my Lord's hands, under protection is my soul. I surrender myself under my Almighty and above all God. Promise me that you are to stand firm, declare my love, and write it in ink, to be faithful to my God. May you fully embrace the truth that this was, is, and will be forever your reality. Allow no seeds of skepticism and contempt for love to germinate in your heart, especially with the memory of everything that I have done for you to give you the strength to continue fighting and struggling, and not retreating. It is succumbing to defeatist ideas that summons the adversary to come and condemn, bring pain, believing in the critics, the well-wishers, calling on them to take away your peace, your energy, your happiness, and your prosperity. I want you to confess with your lips, believe in your heart, and write with your hands that through the storms of life, now and forevermore, you shall never, for one moment, doubt my unending love for you. It is yours unmistakably. My bond to you is unassailable. Whenever you feel alone and abandoned, know it's just that tough, cruel test of life trying to extinguish the flame within you. Your faith isn't dead. Open your eyes to the passion that will awaken your soul. Renew your spirit, empower your being, lighten your heart, and dispel the oncoming darkness. You do not have to live in anger, aloneness, disillusionment, or in the depths of constant defeat and spiritual pauperism. No, do not accept such a position. It isn't where you are supposed to be. Your true home is in my presence, surrounded by me, held in my peace, filled with my joy. For with these words I give to you the sign you were looking for in those moments of anguish and pain. You cried, Speak to me, my God. And lo, here I am stretching out my hand toward you. Bend thy heart to my voice, feel the full depth of love and care by which I draw near thee, in assuring thee that I love thee. Never have I let go thy hand, turned away my face from thee, nor deserted thee. I stood by mine promise, faithful unto mine promise. Now it is thy turn to stand fast in faith. Commit thy heart unto me. Be of good cheer, and lift up your face. Drop now your sorrow at this moment. I've come to encourage you, to comfort your heart, to heal your wounds. Know this, that in your darkest hour you were never abandoned. And so, do not let the lie rise up in your heart that I have ever withheld my love from you. No such thing is possible. I can only imagine the size of your fights, but my love remains the same, and my holding of your hand does not let go. You spoke of being tired, feeling you were at the edge and could not see an exit. Let me tell you perhaps that you have been looking the other way because the gateway has always been in front of you. I am your way, your lantern, your portal, your truth, the path you are to take. I'm your future, I'm your life. In the tornado of your battles, when you choose faith over fear and turn to me, you will get through. Trust in my timing, trust in my ways, for I will gently lead you to your deliverance. Should your patience wear thin and weariness cloud your spirit, I shall be with you to reinforce your endurance, to give you strength, and to enfold you in my peaceful rest. 
This is not the time to quit. You are so very close to attaining your heartfelt desire. Engage a complete and unrestrained trust in my existence, for I am your never-failing help. Be not afraid to seek my advice before acting. Save the efforts you have already made. One wrong move may wipe away all your achievements. Remember, this is neither a competition nor a test for others to prove your worth to them. You have already passed the test of your faithfulness with me. Keep on da'as, therefore, in your journey, walking neither too hastily nor too slowly, but with discretion, and you shall arrive at the abundance and blessedness which I have promised. For when you have attained this land, you will remember these my words, and you will glorify me, and you will confess me before men. You mustn't grow faint-hearted then, or fall into passions of many colors, but rather place your hope in me, for I hold you dear. Life has thrown its glut at you, and enemies have risen against your walk to dissipate it with the help of others who discourage, belittle, and doubt. But don't be afraid of any man or trial that would seek to overwhelm you. I am your shield, your provider, your healer, your sure defense. I will place my mighty hand on your life and heal every hurt, turning every painful memory into a beautiful testimony of my great love and graciousness. Even in life's storms and the enemy's insidious planning of destruction of peace with family, work, your sanctuary, you stand unshakable, immovable in your faith. Indeed, I see all the difficulty and heartache these trials bring, stirring turmoil within you, challenging your spirit, testing your strength. But today, I'm here to help heal the fractures in your life. March on, be valiant, rise tall, and lift your head up high. If you want to listen to God's message and bring positive changes to your life, then subscribe to the channel. The enemy has not stopped attempting to stop you, and yet here you are, strengthened by my grace, standing strong. The things that have happened to you, the things that have come against you, these are not the end of your story, my beloved. You're not going to lose this fight. And although others may look at you right now and think that it is all over for you, I am coming right in the middle with my all-powerful hand and my legions of angels, commanding your lifting. Your prayers have ascended to heaven. Your life is ordered for divine revival. Be careful, for most walk by sight. Pass unheeding by the wonders of each new day, and doubt my existence, my love, my power. But you, my child, are not that breed. Your faith shall stand undismayed by fear. In due season everyone will see the glorious turnabout within your life, and in wonder give recognition to the glory of your Master. Therefore, set your eyes upon me only. Hang on to my words and trust in my promises. Not on anything that is changeable should you lean, nor on crossbreeders should you commit your cause. Your heart, that tender and precious heart, is mine. You have consecrated it unto me above all. Love me above all, for I desire you to be mine forever. Amen. Come closer now, my love, and listen to my voice. I watch you walking along the narrow way which I have placed before your feet. Truly the shadows dim it, and the thorns hedge the sides. But persevere. Forward. The light shines clearer, if only you will continue on. I know this journey can be very lonely. My child. When the pain of loneliness wraps its arms around you and renders your spirit numb, you will not be alone. My presence goes before you always, preparing your way, securing your footsteps. Though the storms may rage and the winds may howl, thou needs not fear getting lost, for I know the thoughts that I think toward thee, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. But now just rest, my dear. Still thine unrested soul by the comfort of mine love. Your ceaseless striving and your fevered dreams have wearied you, but peace is found not in what you pursue, but who pursues you. I formed your inmost being, I knit into the soul of your being a part of my spirit. Before ever you took your first breath, I knew you, and set you apart as my own. The same eyes which gazed upon young David tending his sheep are the same eyes that look upon you today with joy as you grow in wisdom and age. Why go on seeking your own glory in things that rust and rot away? It's time to wake up and realize that you have no right to find your identity in fame or achievement. Start to believe this truth, 
The Almighty Maker of heaven and earth has his eyes on you, only love, pure, unrestrained, calling you beloved. Now, reset the compass of your heart to point towards my true north. Bring your fears, anxieties, and striving before the refiner's fire, that I might purge your motives. Let go of the lie that things and titles define you. Invest rather in things eternal, for only that which you give to me will last when you pass to your eternal home. Lay up treasures in heaven by walking in righteousness, loving mercy, and humility before me. Then, as you are able to submit more and more to my fashioning, joy and abiding satisfaction will rise up from within you like streams in the desert. My wisdom, planted like seeds in your heart, will bear fruits of peace, peace with yourself, with me, and with others. For this peace is not as a mist at dawn which fleets away. It flows from my very throne, a river constant at all times to immerse you. Wade in these living waters, refresh and renew. Now let my current realign your priorities, transforming the landscape of your life. What good is it, after all, to climb ladders of success if the walls lean on foundations of sand? Seek yes first my kingdom, and all you need will be added. The best way to receive the desires of your heart is to take pleasure in me above everything else. Make times alone with me your greatest joy above all others, and soon your joy will drive out fear and anxious toil. As you rest trustingly beneath my wing, you are renewed to rise up and ride the wind. So now ride, renewed as an eagle, for on the wings of faith, I heave you up from the snare of past failures and give you perspective to discern the way ahead. Your regrets and shame fade small below as you scan the horizon of grace-filled days that I have purposed for you. The wastelands behind no longer hold you captive. I make beauty from these ashes. Rings of mercy keep going out, washing away the staining residues from memory. Indeed, Aunt, your morning has ushered in fresh joy, and the very tears you sowed last night sparkle now as hope-filled dreams under sunrise. So lift the face, dear one, and let beams of my delight over you saturate the being. Now, light to the world is born in your heart. The darkness lurches by and shadows disappear from crevices once haunted by pain and loss. No more will voices of condemnation and fear make their sway. The Son of Righteousness arises with healing in His wings. His warmth lets your soul be able to embrace the One who seals your broken places with grace's balm. Take my outstretched hand, then. Let me guide your faltering steps through uncertain terrain that lies ahead. Sometimes the way may wind through valleys cluttered with fallen dreams. Other times we will climb mist-veiled peaks rising steep. But never will we tread a path I do not first clear for your feet. And should storms descend, whipping doubt-fueled winds, grip my hand tighter still. I remain your shelter from swirling chaos, my rod and staff comfort you. Listen for my voice leading gently on. Drown out distracting noises clamoring for attention on this narrow way. The great tempter slightly waves from the smoother pathways that lean to your own understanding of what is right. But he promises to lure all who tilt away from walking in my will. Tune your ears instead to wisdom's call. Her words bestow discretion and lead to abundant life in my favor. For only one voice unveils your true identity and reveals your purpose. Fix your focus here, child. Cut out every other voice that is trying to gain entrance to your mind. Imprison the thoughts that lift themselves up above the knowledge of my truth. Cast down the reasoning which threatens faith in what I say. Reject the imaginations that portray futures which I did not author. Ancestry, ethnicity, or gender mean nothing in regards to me. These facts of your identity fade to nothing in the light of the reality of who you are to my eyes. My extravagant love toward you depends not one bit on your performance, background, or family line. You are special simply because you belong to me, and belonging to me guarantees royal inheritance and divine empowerment to walk out my purposes for your life with boldness. All that is mine is yours by right of relationship as my beloved child. Nothing can take these benefits from you, which were secured by a covenant with me, if you will only trust in my inherent goodness. So now I rebuke every hex, every curse, every incantation or sorcerer's binding that would have the intention of being hurtful or limiting in any way. There is no power greater than God's spoken word that goes forth to accomplish that which it was sent to do. 
My angels hearken to these decrees, actively protecting their fulfillment. And I say, no weapon that is formed against you shall ever prosper when your life is in alignment with my will. Stand confident about this assurance, yet stand also with wisdom against the continuance of the onslaught from the dark powers and authorities working in unseen realms in their attempts to steal, kill, and destroy. These forces of darkness prowl continuously and look for any breaches to let in their ravenous soul-devouring attacks, so fierce that my stoutest warriors may have to double over behind faith shields for cover. Yet arm yourselves for the aggressive truth of an unstoppable gospel. Use my word as a strategic weapon to evict these invaders from all territory I have appropriated for my kingdom. Far too many times, my beloved saints have stood in the place of casualties on spiritual battlefields when I have positioned you as conquerors in Christ. Tear down enemy strongholds in territories still in captivity to wicked influence. Release captives through the unapologetic proclamation of biblical truth. The war is not against flesh and blood, but that ancient serpent, the devil, and all those who have obeyed his evil commandments. For surrender of territory still illegally occupied. Reclaim these forts by making my kingdom visible through good deeds, deeds that destroy arguments raised against my gracious reign. Now wake up, beloved soldier, and collect your armor. Be on the alert for condemning attacks hissing lies in shades of gray and black. Speak out against hybrid nasals spitting fire to incite wrong motives and kindle offense. Douse flaming missiles tipped with jealousy and envy flung to ignite disagreement. Allow my spirit to wield the sword of truth as a precision weapon with the shield raised to deflect. Allow flaming arrows to fall harmless, having found no unprotected ground. So be prepared for battles as they rage when my kingdom sets out against evil. But forget not, the light washes away all the persecutors. No opposition long survives the blazing brightness from my holy ones poised together in purpose. Together, my sanctified church dispels satanic fog, reveals hidden agendas, and offers a place of refuge for all those held captive to evil. So let unity and selfless love define you as much as faith. Make room in your ranks for bruised ones who seek shelter from the brutalities of life. Be my mercy to them. You must look deeper, as, too, at people's problems. Suspend judgment, still impulse to push away. Instead, graciously bear one another's burdens. Comfort those carrying unseen loads. Encourage through listening ears. Offer hope and help when tension builds between souls. Refuse taking sides or speaking negatively without cause. These are age-old shams to make alone, to break down, birthed from the enemy. Recognize manipulation, stand down pride. Humbly make peace, for in the end, no man defines the worth of another. All stand equal under judgment's probing eye. So be careful how you reflect before you cast stones with your words that hurt. I weigh truth in motives driving reactions. React not in anger, but compassion. Copy your Lord, who, when reviled, did not retaliate. Entrust justice and final verdict to me, rather than waste strength harboring petty offenses. Excel still more in honorable ing one another. Allow preferential treatment and forgive freely those who wound you. Heap kindness on adversaries' heads to melt their cool indifference or provoke their remorse. Overcome evil by drowning deceit in truth spoken with grace. Muzzle loose lips that gossip and slander. Refuse to participate when trusted friends share confidential disclosures without permission. Such chatter grieves my listening ear. And grieve not my spirit by clinging to sadness, nursing hurt feelings into deep bitterness. Let no anger harden your tender heart, kept soft in my presence. Journal out hurts through open conversation with me. Yield rights to retaliation into my care. Embrace feelings as instructors, showing beliefs that need to be corrected by reality. Interpret correctly your struggle as potentiator of growth. Growth in dependence on my comfort, counseling, and enabling. Herein find the path to wholeness, the call to brokenness, asking me to heal your heart. Yield to the Christ dwelling within you. Permit my living water to cleanse inner recesses still darkened by the shadows of hatred. My light shining through unforgiveness strapped, wounded voids, brings divine perspective. You get to distinguish actions from the intrinsic value of people created in my image. Through my vision, self-control is established and entanglement with volcanic feelings is broken. 
I break you loose to value others despite their flaws. So rise higher, beloved. Go higher than past pain that pins your perspective to ground level. Resist the gravitational pull of grudges founded in the dust of faded dreams. Forgive those who have trespassed against you, whether they knew what they were doing or not. Forgive them, but you do it right. Lay all down flying high on the forgiveness that will stick against all still shooting spiteful arrows aimed to draw defensive targets. Don't take hits. Reject, reject. Deflect discrimination. Defend contempt with the shield of worship. For heaviness hinders ascent I have purposed for you. Lay aside the cynicism, the mockery, the sarcasm that is the shit that forms under the pressure. Because I uphold you to reflect me through a lens of love, undistorted by disillusionment, I encourage you to excel still more in hope, faith, and love. That's the three-chord rope strong enough to lift and secure you steady. Oh, my dear child. How I want your soul to experience pleasant seasons of flying with me, to share with you the heights of rejoicing and glory that my grace has prepared. Now stretch out your wings. Feel drafts rising that will carry you into realms you never thought possible. Ride thermals I send to teach you effortless flying. Let go of the tension on your shoulders, the twisting angst that cramps your core. Worship me from wide open spaces that are not weighed down by the pull of gravity or the limits of man's making. Praise like a winner. Be the first to speak with your heart held high. My God proclaims peace and promise to me. For these are the words I have spoken. I, that propels stars into space and catches every falling tear. My words reverberate into eternity. It's a reset for your soul password that anchors your soul safely back to me. So come now, in simple trust, possessing all I have spoken as your spiritual inheritance. Enter my courts with thanksgiving, my sanctuary with praise, proclaiming, Great is thy faithfulness, O God. Lay down heavy burdens piled high before my throne of grace. Behold, my son, your mediator, my gift offering mercy's sweet relief. See your high priest, gentle shepherd who gathers the weak to his side. Hear now his words deep within resonate. Come unto me when you are tired of trying. Come when you find no solutions. Come as you are and lower your guard. There is no pretense in my presence. I invite messy souls longing for wholeness. Unveil your truest self. Expose even unwanted, dark regrets. Hide nothing. My healing mercy will wash all clean again. I graft the broken boughs into myself. I bring life to your very ground. And I raise up beauty from these ashes. Come now, dearest, make thine abode in me, my child. For too long have you wrestled under the weight of this world tossed by every gale of life. You send away sorrowed beggars, charge forth into twisted towers past where key lines swap our fathers. Behold, I come soon. I will wipe every tear from your eyes. You have doubted that I am real, that I can love you. Where have such notions come from? They bring tears to my eyes, for I have a heart that feels deeply. I cherish you, my precious one. When you lay in darkness, Smothered by your sorrow, I came to you. I picked you up, purified your soul, and set your feet down again. In that moment you were reborn, made new by my love. Cleave to that. Let it anchor you now, for no one may snatch you from my hand. You are mine eternally. Banish any thought that would cause you to doubt or despair. The demons whisper lies seeking to lure you back into their clutches. Never mind them. See me and hear me. I will not fail you, nor abandon you. My plans for you are good, only to give you a future and a hope. And if as yet you see not the light towards the end, then by faith take your stand and walk by faith and not by sight. The dawn will come. I see the sorrow that is clinging to your soul, the abrasions from storms that have raged within you. Let me heal them now. Put your hurts into my hands. Lay your heart open before me. My love will soak into every crevice and bind up every wound. In my presence you will find comfort and peace. That I swear to you, the night may still look black, but at dawn, joy comes. And I want you to live. Live your life. No more existing, drearily plotting through days. Share this video with up to three people, if you need God's presence. I have brought a fire inside you and fanned the flames. Now let it burn bright.
Every new dawn be full of expectancy to find the adventures coming your way. Wonders abounding if you look around. In the midst of trials, even treasures if you know how to seek them. Keep looking for me first, early and often, and I will show you exactly where to find them. Having been through and survived the storms, you now have a strength and wisdom far beyond anything your years suggest. You can now be a pillar to others, a shelter from the wind. Give freely of that which you have received from me. There are many who need the light that only you possess, the lessons that only you can share. Feed my sheep as I once bade my dear Peter. Tend the lambs who have no shepherd. In blessing others you shall know blessings heaped on your own head. This is a new season for you. My child, I am giving gift and talent that you never knew you owned. Restrictions and insecurities that have been with you for far too long will fade like mist in the rays of the morning sun. You shall do things you never believed possible, even to the point of you yourself being in shock, cast out into the deep places with abandon. Where I send you, you shall go. What I give you to speak, you shall say. Together, own, oh, we shall do great things. Abundance awaits you, blessings beyond count. No more living where just enough is barely scraped together. No more never enough of anything. Prosperity shall overtake you because I delight in the fact that you flourish. I shall teach you my wisdom in the stewardship of these resources, using them to advance my kingdom instead of using them to gratify the desires of the flesh. Trust me to provide amply for every need. I own the cattle on a thousand hills. You shall not want for any good thing. Has the enemy whispered lies to you for far too long? Has he trapped you in his web of deception? He has said that your dreams are folly, your ambitions are prideful, your desires are evidence of being selfish. Most preposterous of all, he has said that my blessings would draw you away from me. How he has robbed you. My dear one, stealing your joy and strangling your faith. Now I tell you to stake your claim on every gift I have placed inside you to bless you, to run after every dream I plant in your heart. Run wild and free, allowing me to guide your steps. You please me when you allow me to partner with you, so boldness, and give power from on high. Dream big, live large, give liberally. This is my joy. Shake off these chains now, my dear one. Refuse to be weighed down with worry and with fear. Every morning, as doubts creep back in, and they certainly will, come boldly before my throne of grace. I am your comforter your deliverer. I shall renew your strength in those times that you stumble and refresh you when you grow faint. Take refuge in me at all times. I am your rock, your shelter from life's storms. Together we shall banish fear from your life once and for all. What incredible miracles I have in store for you. In fact wonders that shall leave others in awe. Has my arm shortened so that I cannot save? My power is unstained through the eons. Dismiss not the stories of old, for I am the same God today. Nothing is impossible when you are with me. Now back, brace yourself, and behold my glory poured out in all your mighty requests. Watch with boldness and see what I shall do. Invite me into situations utterly beyond hope. Watch despair turn to triumph as I swoop in to rescue. It has only just begun. Rejoice in your newfound liberty. See shackles that bound you shattered. I have shattered every chain, nullified contracts with death you once forged in moments of profound despair. You are free indeed. Now walk out that liberty, untethered and unhindered by prior failures. Naturally sorrows will come, they are but part of this fallen world. But here, too, my promises stand sure. I will stand next to you close in the fire, your source of strength in the ultimate agony. When you walk through the waters, they shall not overflow you. Not if you cling to me. Grief shall tarry through the night, but joy comes with the light. Not even the darkest night of the soul can abort or diminish my plans for good in your life, because I love you with an everlasting love. I too weep you when you weep. In your brokenness, I draw nearer still, longing to gather you close. Wipe your tears. Whisper words of life over you. Does it not move my heart when I see you turning back to me? Like any wayward child coming home into the welcome of the Father's embrace, this is what I live for, these moments of sweet reconciliation. Run to me now, 
I will receive you joyfully in exaltation over you. My deepest longing is realization, not punishment and rebuke. You find shelter in the shadow of my wing at all times. Consider now treasures from my vast storehouses, created just for you. While in earthly terms they are small, small gifts that seem quite humble, through the eyes of the Spirit, they twinkle with a splendor. A covering of fine woven gold, speaking of righteousness, is yours freely, a covering far beyond that of false security or transient respect. Think of a ruby ring, forged in flames of heaven, speaking of eternal covenant, loyalty, and love. Its facets speak of depth of relationship bought at high price, cleansed and sanctified. Think of a sword, shining bright, its edges drenched in heavenly light. This is not just a weapon, but a token of divine strength and wisdom, a tool to cut through deception and oppression, a symbol of truth and justice in life's battles. Now come, take your place beside me at this table that I have prepared for you, rich in the richest affair. Here you shall find the true bread and wine, food that nourishes life eternal within you. Feast freely, drink as you will. Cups of joy for tears are yours forevermore. Here with me your head is newly anointed and your kingdom is secured for all eternity. And now you are royalty, designated for rule and reign alongside the King of Kings. Now come and take that place at my side. Look with me across the lands I am bestowing upon you to enter into harvest in the lands, in my name, for my glory. Does this not take your breath away? Across the unending horizons before you, these sun-kissed fields stand ready for harvest this very day. Through discipline, training, and perseverance, you will make this site a regional platform from which my life, light, and glory fill the earth. No more obscurity for you, my child. Your light and influence are ascending rapidly, and my passion through your willing, yielded frame. Yes, you, my friend, conceived in my heart before time itself was formed, brought into being through the gateway of my love, fearfully and wonderfully made, intentionally designed for impact at such a time as this. You emerged from me, the brilliance of my glory, and you were set apart for unique kingdom exploits. Stay close now, daily leaning on my ways, higher than yours. Watch every obstacle blur into opportunity through my lens, which is higher than yours. For every struggle is but a place of discovery, revealing where strength and strategy can come for the next rise up. So, onward we move, and stay near. Seek not to follow or envy the path and speed set for another, for each is called to their divine course. Set not milestones that will manifest along the ascent as I see fit, not yours. Unfolding and unfolding intentionally, not accidentally. I exult over every inch gained through rejoicing and dancing over you. Learn and delight in the lessons nestled in pace and turn. Onward, my child, and coming nearer to the top, step by firm step, and from the top, the view shall be glorious way beyond your wildest dreams. My child, a bright new day dawns before you. I give you wisdom to organize your priorities and you great works that make even your family astonished. They will stand in amaze at the deeds I shall do through you. I move in your mind with my word and watch as your spirit finds change. Have the confidence to come before me when burdens weigh down upon you. My spirit attentively meets your needs, ready to guide you toward abundance, peace, and prosperity. As you receive my will, trust with all of your existence that no curse or trap will touch you. I keep watch over your comings and goings, your dreams and wakings. My angels are stationed around you with fiery swords to secure your life. You will trample on snakes and scorpions, and not be hurt at all. Seek me day after day in prayers with fastings to take your rest in my arms, my word, my blessing. I will touch those who assail you, you shall be ashamed of them, and they shall never again dare to touch you. When many see the power of my name, they will behave more seriously regarding their faith. This is no game. Walk forthright, gazing toward heaven. Heed not the scoffers, I am there to catch you lest you stumble upon the rocks in your path which they have placed there. Do not yield to threats, or you will open the door a little to fear. When there is no fear in thine eyes, their plans to dishonor you will come to nothing. 
they will meet me, and in my light they will show as cravens. Be truthful and be yourself, for now the glory is thine. Thou shalt rest in peace henceforth, neither divine nor evil shall bring hurt upon thee and thine. Dwell no longer on critics, but hold fast on my love. Each dawn, leave your burdens with me as I send forth my angels to walk by thine steps. As you touch my words, so your life turns anew. My light shall raise hope, as my hand shall raise. Just believe in this miracle of love and happiness. I see those heavy thoughts that are torturing your mind, but remember that I am the light of the world, here to save you. No malice, no darkness, will come near to one in the shelter of my spirit. No storm will keep you from my love. I am your God and Father, tenderly watching in every moment, never abandoning you. But what I do see is them rising up against you, even lying or causing a riot in your house. Take heart now, and pray. This shall ensure you of emerging winner over the most fierce battles. If you read these words today, know that your enemies have not won. Though they keep coming, when they see my power shielding you, they shall back down. Once upon a time, some that I refrained from showing you kindness through you, I showed you kindness. From this day, I shall never reproach you. You shall have no lack before me whenever you ask. I don't want you to lack affection. I want to bind your wounds and free your heart from rejection and pain. Be persistent, don't be faint-hearted, for I have loved you. And copious blessings are stored in advance for you. My hand shields you from evil, sending your foe to seek forgiveness, shooing away from you the intent to harm your soul and wounding the serenity thereof. For all on earth flee when in my presence you are. But be mindful, I am not far. You just have to believe and fervently pray at all times. When in plight, talk to me. If overjoyed, pour your glee unto me. If in turmoil, find rest in me. Your prayers bring resplendent miracles each day. These are the trials that have come to you now. Allow no testing to happen to you. There is anything that is going to happen. I am your strength in living. I will assure you when you are hurt. I will grasp your hand to give you loving protection. I am your deliverance in all things. If you have strayed, pray. I will right your way once more. Just trust me. Rejoice. For I come to bring you and your house eternal blessing, I assure you and don't doubt. I shoulder your load and raise my hand to make your enemy repent, so all that wishes you evil behold the power of my name. Remember you are mine. Stand tall and tread paths with a blessing. No force weakens you in my presence. If indeed you feel grateful for my gifts, thank them wholeheartedly and treat others with tenderness. You shall dwell under my wing shadow. Though doubts and temptations come, my grace is sufficient and excellent. Now close your eyes with me, declaring, I believe in you, my God, and now await such a great miracle in your life today. Amen. Pass on these words freely to those who are close to you and in need of me that they, too, might partake of this very same blessing. And let's spread this hope together and continually enrich lives. You are loved, my child. Be at peace. What beautiful message lies there in wait for you, my dear child. All my words will serve to calm your spirit, to inject peace into your being. Open your heart. Lend me your attentive ears and the observant eyes of your soul. Thus will I show thee my willing spirit. For today, I come with mighty miracles and wonderful dreams to happen. Lend thine ears to this prophetic utterance as it stretched towards thee, declaring with surety that thy days of hardship are at their close. I proclaim unto you that these are the very last days, signifying the spiritual battle of the light versus dark shadows. Although enemies may try to drown you in fear and bring disorder into your life, do not be afraid, for I will send legions of angels around you, protecting each of your steps. O beloved child, I have called you to be valiant and continuous, to grab hold of valor and not allow any place in your life for the overindulgence of fear or weariness. May my instructions be meditated upon by you at first light until you retire, tired from your work, but strengthened in your soul with a valorous spirit. For you have been an advocate of honor for your family and a true friend to their souls on this way which I have put before you. 
When you sleep at night, rest not, for the struggle ceases not with your going to sleep. Therefore take unto thee sleep your moment for prayer. Your time is the best gift to offer me, much fruitful than you even think. A word spoken in prayer makes you strong. You should speak with no intention of my promises and my precepts with any fear or reluctance. Proclaim them, let your voice ring out in your house, and be unashamed. If others ridicule you or consider you foolish, do not be angry at them, for to ridicule is also their loss. Say these words with feeling, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. Repeat it to yourself, even louder, in faith and with power. These aren't just words to be read and ignored, they are holy declarations. Declaring these words out loud sets you ablaze, causing fear, sorrow, hopelessness, and all the dark, evil spells that adversaries have put on through cursing and hexes to disappear. My heart longs for your loud declaration, my God is my rock and refuge, whom shall I fear? From the name of the Lord comes my salvation. To the bestower of mercy I will have recourse. He will raise me from his bosom. He will still my soul. Under his wing, I will take my refuge. If you want to listen to God's message and bring positive changes to your life, then subscribe to the channel. Now stop for a minute. You who read these words, read them again and listen again to my voice. Close your eyes. Taste every syllable. Sense my presence as it shatters the yokes of iniquities and sicknesses. Put out your hand, rise up, and walk. Welcome to the wonderful place where I have shared so often with you. Here it is where your tomorrow is made, and here your inheritance is contended for. Consequently, it behooves you to stand firm in your faith and plunge deeper into my message, for you are on the threshold of beholding and comprehending things beyond your understanding or even imagination. You will perceive the greatness of this love of God that is around you. Your heart will leap with joy at my words when a new day breaks. You will become conscious and open to this voice that will guide you. You will let me help you, and you will let yourself be guided. Take my hand and let me take you into the presence where I have purposed to prosper you. I am your tender father, deeply eager to see you live in peace, to utterly shatter, break, and obliterate the curse that tortured your forebears, binding them with deadly worries, irrational fears, unwarranted envy, and turmoil of the mind. Here, at this moment, in my sacred name and by the virtue of my sanctifying blood, I set free every bondage of the curse of the evil one over your life. I cast out of you every spell, witchcraft, black magic, and evil eye cast upon your family. You are free forevermore now, I have cleaned your heart of every evil influence. Now I ask you to invite me in to fill that empty space. The evil one is defeated, but your soul cannot remain empty and alone. Open the door, let me in. My wish is to dwell in your life forevermore. Give me the highest honor, sacrifice your love to me, and swear your faith. Today you begin a new book. People will notice. My love is deep for you, and the world will come to see that. Your people will see a difference in the shining of your face. They will praise your joy. Believe my vow. I am the Almighty, your God and Redeemer. Today, I have sent such a word in front of you, written by my Holy Spirit, speaking direct for your soul. Receive it and see thanksgiving. Pray with faith. Look forth to the extraordinary miracles you shall see. Ask yourself, who loves you? The answer is evident, and your love for me is evident. Just lend me your ear for just a little while as you head on your way. My love for you is infinite. It makes me happy to be able to witness your kindness to all, the way you take care of your loved ones, and the things that you value our relationship for. I trust you to apply with wisdom the gifts which I have given you. You don't hold on to negativity, and you won't try to rebel nor to stray when I shine the light. Yet many of you out in this world search for happiness and prosperity away from my reach unknowing that your family, your children, your babies need me and to walk the right path. And then there is you. My words are in your household. You have given me the respect that is due. So you should always be confident that your home is being protected by a guardianship in heaven. Focus on what truly matters, family harmony and love, the riches that will never fade. 
Be honest and reliable in your work and with all your affairs. Do not speak hurtful words, for they injure the soul and smite with cruelty. You are a being of grace, and my spirit enlightens you each day. Surely, as in the very nature of darkness and night, the dawn shall be found to follow closely. So shall your moods rightly assert themselves. Bravery and peace shall be upon your days, also eagerness, delight, and tranquility. These are no miracles. They are the blessings which flow from my sovereignty to souls who seek me sincerely. Never for a moment am I hidden nor am I aloof. Too many say they seek but find not, their eyes closed. Yet when their eyes are opened, they see I have been here all the time. Behold, I am here. Feel my delight in you now. Your life pleases me. You have thrilled my heart. I have no hurts where you are concerned. Pay no attention to your failings or what you lack. When your critics return, remember it is their own envious heart that is eating at them. You are strong and full of life. So many blessings, so many opportunities to do service and bless your family and others lie before you. But never stop trusting me. Say it. Let my blessing be upon you. Today I am speaking to the champion's heart in you. Do not give up. Do not falter. Do not be discouraged. Do not let doubt or fear have one morsel of room in you. I am your protector, your shield, your strength, your friend, your father, your God. I am your God. You'll be warmed with blessings reserved for the mighty-hearted. Stand for today's the day of your emancipation. You have been too long in sorrow, and your strength ebbed away from you. Yet as is your wont through every trial, your great valor stayed the day. You are my child, and from your mother's womb I ordained you born to live and flourish and bless. Yet the very worst had endeavored to tempt you with his horrible lies in order to break your spirit. His seeds of darkness warned with trepidation of your simple heart. There was always a flame at the center of your heart, unanswerable. And when it seemed you had reached the depths of despair, you heard my voice calling to you. I sought you out and rescued you with great triumph. You see the marvels, wonders, and wonders that I wish to do through you. Even today, through these contradictions, stay strong and teach your enemies that in your smallness and poverty is my greatness. You must strive in prayer. Live my power. I'll give the wonderful things you ask for, as wisdom will take them. I will hear you. I will give you all. I must get you ready and strong for the coming great things in life that will be happening very soon. Now, seek and hear me. I'll unveil your fate. Your life will change soon. Just wait for me. I love you. You are a beautiful person. I love everything about you. Oh, how I am thrilled by what you feel when you do speak to me, when you close your eyes. How dear is your heart when it's dancing to the rhythm of joy. That's the celestial ecstasy I'm infusing into your soul. It wipes out every bit of discomfort, pain, or sickness. But, most of all, I want you to feel overtly loved when you hear my voice. You do not have to trudge through life heavy laden and heaving sighs over the tests you encounter. I love you, and today alone you will feel that love expressed in a million different ways. I will make it clear before you, speaking directly into your heart. Whoever drains your peace will find you cradled in a love so divine it thwarts all contention. And if sorrow should ever presume to ruffle your spirit, my arms will open wide, every chalice of woe to drown, the heart to drown with unzipped joy. Your friends shall be made witnesses as they stand in awe, wondering what has happened, what has happened to you, radiating with this new kind of joy. Your enemies shall be driven back, for all their devices to vex you are completely voided by the impregnable joy. I shall set a tent of troops of angels around your dwelling place that will bear you up in their hands and protect your family without ceasing. Believe with all your heart. My love for you is no illusion but a reality real and living as the breath in your lungs. It is a power greater and more beautiful than any miracle you could imagine. My love is wrapped around you, filling you with life and power. This is your greatest treasure. And so, I treasure your daily thankfulness, the rising of your morning, giving thanks, and putting your ways and your time in my hand. You are the witness of faith, 
though the world winces and titters at you and mocks you for believing in an all-powerful God that you can't see. This is so, because, well, you do know that I am real, that I take care of you, concerned with all concerns. With the faith you have, you're going to rise up living, feeling, and knowing that you are a son to the Father of the Creator of the universe, walking with a lot of confidence in every step, and with your face full of joy and happiness. My adopted child, how your spirit is so strong and grateful that fills my heart. You have such a beautiful soul, and until the first darkness of dawn shall arrive, it shall be so. Remember that I am always with you. My love is unlimited to you. If you desire to face today's issues, let me lend an ear upon which you can hear. For with mine lips, I will teach you the answers you seek. Although your tests look way big, remember that because you have surrendered your life and your heart to me, you have built up within yourself an assurance that with me, nothing is impossible. Begin to accept this truth, speak it, shout it, put it in writing, but more importantly, believe it in your heart. For God, nothing is impossible. Dwell on this truth. My promises are alive and full of vigor, and they cure your world and change your very life. For my word is not a word of old castles, it is potent and it works. Though the changing seems to be at a snail's pace and laborious, Never for any moment fail to remember that you are the child of the Almighty. Be changing, in utmost desperation. For my spirit is there inside you, giving the dynamic power of the deity. Miracles hover, just there in the offing. When you speak my words in kindness, act kindly toward others, control your anger, and when you have a choice, nurture rather than wound those who matter most to you, then I'm opening your eyes and showing you beautiful things. Cry out to me and I am answering with beautiful revelation. Come and seek my word every day. Listen with open ears. Adjust your ears. Open your Bible. Understand this important fact. You have available to you a supernatural world and the love of your perfect Father. The protection, the guidance, and direction from Him, both by day and by night. In every place where you are, whether you feel good or bad. I am always with you as my word promises. But you also need to know something about this important matter. Your spirit connects with my spirit. You've got an open door to the land of miracles, but your feet are firmly planted within a natural world. Problems will come. Conflicts will come out. Enemies will come to do you harm. It's all part and parcel to your life and process. But nothing can defeat or overcome you. And you have my support, my help, my word is in your heart. You are as strong as a champion. It's your unwavering faith that serves the solution. Now rise and face your problems with determination. So much love to thee. Dear beloved, your super thanks radiate divine grace and gratitude, fueling our mission to spread truth and enlightenment worldwide. Together, let's shape a future glowing with hope and compassion. Your pivotal participation opens floodgates to boundless blessings. Join us, Click super thanks and receive divine love. Thank you for being cherished. May your heart overflow with grace. So I give reason to you. Say that you believe in me. Shout, write again. Nothing is impossible for God. Be confident, you will not be disappointed. Everything will be good, darling. Never think that you are alone or forgotten because I am strongly by your side. No person has the power to blur or humiliate you in front of me, your keeper. These who dare to go against you, in reality, go against me. Therefore, fear nothing. Under my strong protection, your health is. When a foe stands against you, craving for you to fall, times of prayer come. Though they shout, blow, or act against you, in my presence, your fortress is. To kneel and find peace, for your faith is a huge force. Let it lead you in all decisions you make, before you do something. Choose my advice. Laying eyes on the days to come with lots of uncertainty. Remember that I am the keeper of your destiny and those of your loved ones. To be sure, your protector is against any harm that may be directed at you, in a trap or surrounded. Be unyielding and courageous. Never give in to the feeling of being trapped or surrounded, or to fear, despair, or corruptness of feelings. Throughout the ages, 
I have detailed the worth you have for me. Even in the very darkest hours and bloodiest battles, cling to the truth. You are precious, worthier than the most resplendent jewels. To me, your esteem surmounts any materials on earth. Believe and accept the truth that you are my precious, redeemed, cleansed, washed in my blood, changed child of mine. And even though the enemy has again come to attack you and has problems with the past, through torments or weaknesses, all your errors and sins no longer exist. I do not remember them, nor does anyone have a right to accuse you. My word you will accept, your knees will bend, believe, strive to continue believing. Do not give up. You are not alone. I know that you love me. I know you believe in me. A grand blessing is about to happen, and you take it because you have proved it through faith. You have striven and shown courage against numerous tests. Fear has not broken you. You are a person of strong valor and stern character. Only the tenderness of my love and my holy affection can touch you and bring tears to your eyes. You possess such spiritual sensitivity. You know when my presence surrounds you and discern the spiritual enemies who come to wage war against you. But in their presence, your knees do not tremble. You are not cowardly, nor do you flee as others do. Beloved, a profound transformation awaits you. The favor about to unfold in your life is immeasurable. My love for you is without measure, and I have proven it again and again through your trials, your sorrows, and those silent nights when I cradled your spirit, offering solace that transcends understanding. With the dawn, you found renewal, your heart was emboldened, your path illuminated, revealing the splendid plan I have for you. Your unwavering faith triggers the outpouring of divine blessings, a rejuvenating rain for you and your loved ones. Now is the time to heal, to step into my embrace. Let go of every strife and every shard of resentment. It's time for letting past discord go and awakening to a heartfelt reunion. Embrace the divine gift and let it shape you, endowing you with profound wisdom to fortify your spirit. Learn my teachings and become a beacon for those you cherish. While some may hesitate to follow, they'll be inspired to change as they see the remarkable transformation my love and might are manifesting in you. Allow yourself to be used by me. Fear not. You will be not put to shame. If a person mocks you or tries to cause you some trouble, respect them, and I will do everything else. Have no complaints on your lips. Feed on my wise commandments. Read my word and lay it in your soul. Love and respect yourself as I love you. Love your family and everybody with the same patience in which I have loved you. Now do everything, and soon you will see those miracles for which you have waited for so long. Those of weak character will transform. Those who had lost their way into the light will find it back to your home. And when they come, I wish them to look at you. Never be afraid to come up to them. Let them feel your love. If they come to you, do not scold or judge them. Pray for them tenderly without complaints and judgments. Like prodigal children, they will return in repentance. You will go out to meet them, and they will come running to you, crying. Beloved child, I call you to a mission of compassion and boundless love. Embrace those who are lost and weary with open arms, just as I have embraced you in your times of need. You are to clothe them in the garment of love, removing the stains of their path without judgment or scorn. Love them deeply, forgive their transgressions wholeheartedly, even when their choices and flaws seem foreign to you. Remember, I am not appointing you as their judge or executioner. My command to you is simple yet profound, to love as I have loved you unconditionally and without reservation. Despite your own stumbles and falls, have I ever moved you away from my eyes? No, for my nature is one of endless patience and forgiveness. I always granted you a new beginning, and I will continue to do so in my love and mercy. I can see that your faults have brought both you and others pain. But you have acquired wisdom through this. You must know that you are alive, breathing, and loved because of my unending grace and kindness. I never settled our relationship based on the weight of your transgressions. So, too, you have the chance to raise, heal, love, and forgive in the midst of the grace that I call you to. Each morning, 
approach me and give me the opportunity to fill you with peace and provide the wisdom you need so that you may be uplifted to that level where you will win the love of your family members and their respect. Bring them all rightly to my holy way. One day, not too far away passes, and everybody will know me because you have lovingly delivered my message to them. With your attitude I, you have shown them how much I love them. My beloved, brace yourself for coming into a world filled with joy and every blessing, seeing your whole family accept me as their divine guard and guide. Your ongoing faith in my name and courage against all odds fill my heart with pride and joy. Know that my love for you is profound and boundless, and it is my fervent wish to rain my favor upon you. I promise to cover you in a deluge of prosperity, peace, and joy for every moment you invest in our holy bond. Let's forge a divine pact. Throughout your day, my voice will guide you, and no matter where you find yourself, you will feel the comforting embrace of my presence once more. I love you immensely. Tell me that you love me too. Come, let me give you a loving embrace. Rest your head on my chest. Surrender your thoughts. Be silent. I want just a minute of your time. Listen to me carefully because I'm going to tell you what your soul knows it needs to hear. Embrace my words and let healing flow into your life. Heed my guidance and cast aside all fears. No harm shall come your way. My shelter is your covering. My almighty hand is your sanctuary. Trust that for all your needs, I will provide. I am your guardian and your shield. All the stillness of your spirit feels. All your heart is washed in a soft peace. I'm erupting upon you with a delightful shower of joy, a profound calm. Be not swayed by the words of men. They do not really see you. And neither do they value you as I do. Before you lies a future resplendent with promise and a journey brimming with blessings. I bestow upon you the gifts of wisdom and bravery, empowering you to make bold choices and stride toward your forthcoming triumphs. No adversary can thwart your path. No colossal challenge can defeat you. Your transgressions are absolved. No addiction can snare you. No spell can claim dominion over you. Stand firm and valiant. Let not fear, dismay, or discouragement prevail. Stand up and face your enemies firmly. You live under my shelter, and you are covered with the shadow of my love, which protects you from evil. I will fill you with strength so that your faith does not waver. I will give you to drink from the rivers of living water, and from your heart will flow fountains of blessing. My dear one, when the sun rises and you open your eyes to face a new day, may you feel the warmth of my embrace embracing you. I am always there, moving mountains, and shaping the paths through every impossible circumstance because of the immeasurable love that I have for you. You are a treasured being to me, a dear family member. Even as the world around you shifts and changes, my unchanging promise to you remains the same forever. Each day has its journey, too, with moments of light and shadow. But remember, I have overcome all adversity so you can rise also and experience true joy. This joy you find shall not be based on earthly treasures, but in divine peace and happiness from our connection. As each new day ushers in the more of your life, step lightly, knowing that the thoughts I have for you are those of hope and a future. If you seek me for guidance, then know that I am here, always listening to help. Be still, and reach out to me when everything else seems fleeting, when solutions are one elusively short step beyond your reach. In the silence, know that I am with you, loving and supporting you unconditionally. My heart is tender toward you as I reach out to guide and speak to you, our eternal bond nurtured with infinite affection that is immense, solid, unwavering, urging me to be attuned to your feelings, to console and shield you. If only you could see my love, then never would you allow the darkness to consume your heart. I want you to know that you are loved more than words can say, all day, all night, in your joy and especially in your bitterness. For my love surmounts these contrasting emotions at war within you and fighting your faith. My child, when shadows cast upon you doubts and worries about how to steal your peace, my promises stood the test of time. Your burdens feel heavy upon your heart, and I know this is to be human, to be with anxieties. Yet I will have you not give in to despair amidst these trials. The enemy may allure you into doubting, losing faith, and drowning in tears. But be sure to remember this that you will have a choice, 
Whose voice will you listen to? Trust in me, for I can make sure that your life is bound with eternal joy, deep peace, unbreakable strength, and endless happiness. If you listen to the voice of doubt, you will see yourself as lost in chaos, overcome with desperate despair, having bruised your spirit. I speak to you now because I believe in you, and I know you do believe in me. Hold fast to my unending love and the words that I share with you today. My love is unending toward you. I am not going to leave you or forsake you. Remember, I am always here and ever ready to listen to, comfort, and provide for you. You're never a burden to me. I value every single moment that we share together. You honor me when you speak with me. Therefore, in turn, to fill you up with my presence, to strengthen your spirit, to mend your mind, to heal your heart. I count the time until our visit tomorrow and am in anticipation of pouring my love into you and wrapping it in tender care. The greater your victories shall be, the stronger your trials as you go out into the world. None of your pains or sufferings will go to waste. And thus I send these words unto you, words of encouragement. Your current situations are about to come to an end. This blessing, long awaited by you, is about to arrive. I have watched over you, thus far, protected you, and you have never fought alone. My promise will soon manifest. All those words of good cheer and of strength that I have spoken in your life will come to pass. My child, dearest one, today is not a day to lose heart, for you are standing at the brink of a wondrous victory. The exhausting burdens are about to vanish. The dearth will retreat, and I will heal everything. Then on the other side of that intimidating wall of suffering stands in wait a wondrous discovery that is going to fill your life with joy. And this shall not be yours alone. The estranged bonds will mend. And with them you and your loved ones will rejoice over this new boon. Long for your faith. Be zealous. And make your prayer commitment unmovable. I want to admonish you to clear your mind of all that distracts your focus. Everything that puts doubt in my promises or muddles your sense of worth and mission, keep away from. Relationships which undermine your faith in me, or make subtle suggestions that it is all in vain, beware. My teachings are to be your guiding light of truth. This is my warning to you not to be swayed by every word spoken unto you. Remember you are of worth, and I remind you of this over and over. You will never be forsaken by my love. In fact, my love for you only gets stronger by the second. There is so much I wish to impart to you, no matter what you face. Dear one, your struggling's end today. Be strong in faith. Your house will again be filled with unity and love. I'm going to restore everything the enemy has stolen from you so that you can know without a shadow of a doubt that my grace and my blessings are upon you. And my desire is for all to see this change in you that those who doubted your faith cannot help but recognize the deep love your Heavenly Father has for you. Trust that I am ever mindful of your needs and always ready to listen. In those moments, if everything seems to be slipping away and one doesn't know where to turn, remember that I am here for you, ready to listen. It is my desire to feel my presence with you always and cherished in joy and in sorrow. My love is sure toward you. It's more solid than the fleeting emotions of the moment. Though troubles come your way and justified concern may exist, do not despair. Do not fall into negative thinking, doubting that I care. Every day, anchor your heart and mind in the truth that my love toward you is all-encompassing. And when trials test your faith, know that my promises are unbroken. In all of that negativity, I stand with you, facing doubts that fight to weaken your spirit. Ultimately, it is your decision. Will you have trust in me and thus have eternal life, complete peace, relentless strength, and endless happiness? Or the enemy's whispers that leave you in confusion and despair? Trust in me, I will never let you down. Bring your worries to me. Find solace in my care. Stifle the whispers of uncertainty and isolation. Be warmed in my presence, even in the darkest hours. I am here to comfort and give you strength. Know how dear you are to me. Nothing can break this bond of my deep, expansive, and real love for you. Cling to this, even when you stumble or fall into error. My love for you never changes. I do not undermine. I do not deceive. 
Receive my love unreservedly, and permit your faith to be like rock. You will not fall, you shall not be lost, you shall not become ruined. Believe, get up and go with faith and trust. Trust in me, I will never leave you. Send your convictions to me, for my ears are now present, ready and able to listen. Trust me as childlike and pure of heart. I am the only one who really understands you and can handle your misgivings. You are confused and helpless, perhaps, but from my vantage point I promise you there is a way out. Your solution is at hand. Permit me to show this to you and heed my words. Fill these veins of yours with divine wisdom, and every day I will come and speak to your heart. My promises are the key that will bring you out from your desperation. Just come to me, on your knees, in heartfelt prayer. Then, when you've poured out your heart, rise with vigor to embrace your dreams and ambitions. I hold everything you desire within my reach. Trust in me, for I am the eternal shepherd, abundant in guiding and providing for you. You shall lack nothing. Speak your needs, and I will fill your life with wisdom and untold blessings. You seek my aid, and I assure you, solutions and guidance are on their way. Share this video with up to three people. If you need God's presence, I will shine a light ahead of you on me, concerning all that is too complicated to handle or conceptualize. And when confusion covers your way, seek me, share with me all that's weighing you down in your heart. But keep your heart light and your mind calm. Do what's in your hands, and for everything else, believe that I am at the wheel, lovingly presiding over everything in your life. Dear one, Learn to center your interest on matters of greater importance. Start to pray on behalf of your loved ones. Step up above them for their own good. They have their own battles, and through your guidance, they will come to know my ways and to grow in faith. There is so much more I want to bestow upon your kindred, desiring to transform their very existence. I watch over your family, united in integrity, while peace constantly clasps your hand. Fast and pray because this is not unimportant, but also act, reach out, listen to them, give them your time and presence, and share in concern for them. In your actions toward them, reflect my love and care for you. Then they, through your example, shall see my reflection and come to know me as their God. My love for you is immeasurable, and I long to walk with you through every valley and every high place. We will pass nothing that will defeat you, no sorrow, no difficulty, no despair. And now, here before you lies a new chapter replete with so much change and bliss. That promise that you kept your eyes on, it's about to come to fruition. And it's here, through faithful believing. The time is now to obtain those promises that were yours. It's not just by coincidence that you are viewing this video. You are about to experience divine revelation, a message from above. Soon, you will go through a tribulation. You might feel there is no hope and that I am not even on your side. But everything will be well. This is your calling, my child. This is your appointed time, my daughter. All that has happened is part of my perfect plan. You have been to the very bottom of the pit, my daughter. Now it is time to climb again, to stand up strong, to brush yourself off, and to ascend higher. May you keep these words close to your heart. May you call upon them whenever you are on the brink of surrender. At moments like these, you can feel so pressured in with debts and cares that it seems as if there were no way out of a dark tunnel. But I am here. My spirit is with you at that time. Turn to my teachings. You will find in them all that is necessary to win you through. And though this challenge is of gigantic dimensions, yet my might is greater still. There is no challenge that I cannot control. In me you will have all that you are lacking, all your heart is seeking. Stop your worrying, end your grief. I will lift you from where you are to higher ground with a firm guiding. You walk in the way I have prepared, the rightness I have ordained. Turn not to the right or to the left, turn not away, turn not cold. And in these days you will not need to meet your trials alone. I invest you with the strength to rise. I lift your load and give you faith. Your hopes shan't be quashed by the enemy. I've orchestrated a scheme, a path. There's a destination you'll get to. In chaos and strife, I'm at work on 
planning softly. I'm adjusting the winds for you, invisible, yet their change you'll perceive. You know my promises are true. You feel something major is about to break, your blessing is coming. Doors you thought that were closed will open wide, where there were ashes, roots will hold. Light shall burst forth where there was darkness. I have given you wisdom to clear your debts. I show ways and give you prudence not to fall into the same problems. Stop listening to the words of the enemy. Stop stumbling over the same rock. I open up your way. I make a way for you. My angels walk around you, like the shield of divine protection. Those who long for your downfall shall be let down. Those looking at your defeat shall not succeed. I am standing with you as the mighty giant, so no fear. Do not be afraid. All will pass. You remember that I have sown seeds of blessing in you. It is written that each of my children is born for abundance. Your paths are not the paths of the world. Stop comparing to those who live in the earthly realm. Your last reward shall be in heaven. You will find yourself amongst much malice in this world, and amongst many who seem not to realize they are serving darkness. Do not be discouraged, for this is part of my plan. All has been foreordained and will come to light in its time. The events now taking place are a part of my scripture. Many will grow indifferent and will take to deception, but you must remain unspotted. Press on upon the way I have set before you. Incline not to turn aside from my commands, for though the world may tempt you with dainties and delectable, it is my strength that shall carry you through. Fear not, my child, for the world is enemy territory. However, it shall not cause you any harm, should you trust me and bind thy heart into my keeping. Go forth in gallantry, my dear child. Allow the world not to cause you to tremble. Cherished daughter, for your reward is nigh. I have told you that doubt separates us, but you must be strong in your resolution. Strengthen your faith, engage in my words, and everything will fall into place. Reaffirm your faith in me. In the name of my beloved Son, Jesus, I can listen to your troubled heart. The sound of the cry of your injured and tired soul reaches me. I know you suffer greatly. I also know your thoughts and desires. I know the concerns and what each problem generates in terms of stress. Your plight is not unknown to me, my child. After all, I do know everything about you. So today I want you to know that every tear you have ever cried, and every pain you have ever borne, I felt in my heart. I did not leave you alone at those moments of crisis in your life. I have been with you, holding you up with my love, for never once have I forsaken you. To thee my love is without an end and a no matter what, never changing. Even now, standing before me beaten and smitten at heart, in all things, remember that I am with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you, even in the darkest of times. Be free to open up your heart. Dear daughter, my dear son, I know everything about you. I celebrate each of your victories and good deeds, but at the same time, I know your weaknesses and failures. There were times when you have felt you wandered away from me, that you walked directionless. But let me tell you that even then, my love for you was unchanging. My love never changes. It is the same, time in and time out, irreversibly committed to you, no matter how many times you may wander away or how weak you may be toward me. I am always waiting, always patient for your return. Be certain that my forgiveness has no limit, and in my arms, you will find the peace and happiness for which you are searching. Draw close to me, bathe in my words, for in these you will find the comfort and understanding necessary to help you out of your difficulties. Come, dearest son, enter into my loving presence, my dear daughter, and let me heal those wounds that scar your heart. Bring to me your fears, your cares, and the anxieties of your heart, and I will bear them for you. My power will turn every pain into strength, every loss into hope. So dare to hope now in me and lay everything at my feet. I will give you strength to overcome the bereavement and devastation that are heaped upon you. Only reach out and take my hand, and let the radiance of my presence dispel the darkness from your life. Do not fear, for in the tempest I will be your refuge, in turbulence I will be your peace, in loneliness 
your friend in trouble, your helper in strength. So remember, my love is there with you, more potent than any challenge or any obstacle standing in your way. Never leave my side. I am your protector and solid rock. The tribulations may be too strong upon you, but I shall be there to lift high your head when it falls low and to keep it steady. So don't be afraid. Let my love fix your life and that of your family. Let my light go before you and guide you in joy and hope. I just want to see your heart overflowing with joy and hope. Never waver in coming to me before my presence in prayer, for I always listen to you and answer your prayers. Because every good thing that you ask of me, with a lot of faith, is granted to you in addition to what you have. Trust in me and my plan of salvation for you, for I have good thoughts and good intentions toward you, and I always seek what's best for you. And again I say, come unto me and think not that you must be perfect to come, for I shall light your path with the lamp of my word, and I'll give you wisdom and reveal the way through life. Don't be discouraged if sometimes you stumble or feel weak. Remember, in you, you always have forgiveness for your mistakes and strength for the weaknesses you have. Trust in me, that my love may touch every crease in your heart, and my presence be felt throughout your whole being, to ever reach out to others and in like manner show the kindness and courtesy that I have shown you. On this day of tremendous importance, I pronounce that you are free from every hurt and darkness. I break every chain of oppression that within you has produced despair, sorrow, and remorse. Turn from what has been and walk in the bright future that I have already set before you. Do not forget past failings, nor grieve them, nor listen to the evil whispers. Be assured that in my love you will constantly find forgiveness and restoration for your soul. So, do not delay on your journey back to me. Do not be led astray by concepts or doctrines that contradict mine, and do not let cruel words shake you. Always remember, my child, that you are my greatest treasure, and that I shall be walking with you every single day of your life from this day forward. I may proceed and live secured of the fact that I shall never leave you nor abandon you. I shall be there to lead you to the life in full that I promised. Just give up, and see how I will transform you into someone with extraordinary strength, way beyond your imagination. Yes, I love you, my son. Yes, I love you, my daughter. My love for you is boundless. It's much more than you'd ever dream of. Remember, my presence will be there with you until the end of time. My words are bathed in power and, at the same time, with direction, to let you break the evil powers that surround you. I am your God and Father. I empowered you with a special power unlike others. It will lead you to victory in everything you do and make you successful in everything around. It is important in your life that you just don't let people get into your head because they think you're weak or a failure. They just don't understand the plan that I have for you. Society in this world will teach you how to be successful without me. But let me tell you something. It is only through my power that you will know true success and the abundance of life. Let not the maelstrom of this age sweep you along within its currents of pleasures, transient and vain. Be sober. Shun evil. Since you are having economic difficulties, faint not in faith, nor let aught take my place in your hearts. Never try to fight your battles alone. Trust me and the depth of my loving care for you. Put your every hope in me, for there is no obstacle too great that cannot be overcome if I am on your side. Put every one of your hopes in me, and you shall be embraced by that peace beyond all understanding, a peace that shall have you anchored firmly amidst even the stormiest seas of your life. My word declares that I am going to shower upon you blessings that are to enrich every facet of your existence. It is my intention to bring prosperity not only to you but to your whole family, affecting your children and the generations that follow. You are of immense value to me. My love towards you is not only unconditional but everlasting, and my plans for you are always good and full of purpose. I will never leave you, never. I am with you always. At every turn I am with you to counsel and support you. You need not look in the things of this world, much less in its stuff, for happiness. Turn your eyes to me, bathe in my presence, study my word within whose pages lie the way to walk to every one of my promises. I want you to view these not as a list of out-of-reach commandments, but as a loving guide that abounds with words of support to steer you in the direction of a most 
purposeful and abundant life. Abide within my words, trust in me, so shall I shower you with the bounty of blessings, bestowing upon you the prosperity, grace, and favor beyond all of your grandest dreams. My love for you, my child, is more than you can ever imagine. I am always ready to prosper and uplift you. You just trust in me, seek my presence with all your heart, and follow my instructions. You will see how I make your life a story of hope and victory in my own way. Don't give up, endure to the end. Now believe me to the uttermost. Hold fast to my assurances, which are sure and faithful. Frankly, have faith in me. Though the world presents you with doubts and challenges and frustrates you in many things, cling tenaciously to my word, because I am the God of the impossible. Nothing is too difficult or too intricate for me to handle. Nothing is impossible with me, so find, in my power, strength and supply for every circumstance of your life. Do not be swayed by some erring opinions or by those pessimistic views of people who fail to understand my teaching and what I want from you. Much of the world's wisdom runs in direct contradiction to mine, as recorded in my holy word. Indeed, the way I am setting before you might appear strange and impossible if viewed through human eyes. But trust me, every step my guiding hand beckons you to is a step towards that abundance and that fullness for which I have purposed your life. When you go through tests and tough times, fear not, for my stubborn love shall lift you, and I will be there every time, whatever happens, and in all decisions that you shall undertake. Just give me the course of your life and I'll be your navigator, protector, and fortitude. With me, we will confidently and securely ride the stormy seas of life. My Holy Spirit dwells inside of you. He is never going to leave you or turn his back on you. And he enables your life with comfort, guidance, and insight. Now, he gives your life solace, direction, and enlightenment. Listen to his voice within you, be still and heed it. For he shall guide you to truth and remind you of my promises. When trials and uncertainty beset you, just trust in me, little one. And when the burden seems too great and you feel you cannot endure another moment, then come to me and rest in my love. Don't let discouragement and adversities turn you aside from the path. Entrust me with each and every one of your needs. I shall take care of them. Recognize that you're never alone in your works because I am your support and fast help. Further, never forget that every test and barrier that stands in your way serves as a stair or ladder to lift you toward a life full of blessings fullness of life, where you can genuinely succeed and be an overall success. And for the children, my son, my dear daughter, nothing will please me more than seeing you successful and happy. On the other hand, I would like you also to understand that the happiness, wealth, and fulfillment I give you do not depend on worldly wealth or human popularity. True success is not gauged by your material possession or awards. True happiness and well-being will be the reward for the purposeful life, founded in my instruction and seasoned with love for others. My grace and compassion will always be available to you. Only trust and apply my instruction. I will take care of all your needs. I will provide all your desires within your house and fulfill all your heart's dreams. I shall work wonders in you. I shall fill your spirit with the greatest rejoicing and your heart with contentment. Feel very free to be proactive in this journey and endeavor to apply most of the lessons that you have been able to pick out from my teachings. It is very important for you, my dear child, to first change your mind so that your speech can change. Clean your speech and get rid of any negativity about it. Do not let your words become an obstacle or limitation that hinders or restricts my wonderful blessings, because I have destined you to be blessed. Wash your mind free of all forms of negativity and shut the door of disbelief in your heart. Do not let your mind become darkened for any sort of vain imagination that tries to destroy your faith, thereby blocking the divine prosperity meant for you and your loved ones. Do not be deceived and led astray by the small and irrelevant things that the enemy may place in your way. Reject anything that can cause you to deviate from your real purpose. Avoid those who use their words to tear one down and destroy because surely that would not be motivation filled with love. Do not look for fruitless efforts that have an origin in worldly desires, as they will be your biggest obstacle on the way to your dreams and aspirations. Meditate on my word, and let it be the food through which your mind will be changed, and by it, faith will grow daily, 
Speak my word, go ahead and declare it day and night, and I will establish the very blessing you declare to come to pass in your life. Plan for the future to be full of abundance and blessing, for so I have promised. Remember, when you come with faith in me and stretch out your hand with a heart full of trust, there is nothing you ask for that won't be a reality. I watch over your life, your loved ones, and all your tomorrows. Those who put their trust in me shall by no means be put to shame. I am your Father and your God, inasmuch as my teachings direct your steps. For I will be with you always, yea, I will cradle your life in everlasting peace, ready at any moment to deliver you and help you overcome every obstacle that lies in your way. Through the power of faith, you shall be able to overcome all that stands in the way of your path to success and prosperity. My dear child, remember that my fervent prayer every moment is to change your life with my lessons. I intend to take you to new dimensions where you shall experience my peace, joy, and contentment. I can hope that you do realize your ambitions and bring your projects into creation. Strengthen your belief, contemplate the wisdom of my words, speak and state it, and you will find the strength to emerge from each situation and problem. I will give you everything and your family so that you will be able to live in blessing, enjoying joyful and whole time with each other. Believe in me because I am always here, often just not felt. I am there in every sunbeam, in every gentle wind that touches your cheek, and in every smile from your loved ones. Know you are so loved, and you are my most wonderful creation, designed for an awesome purpose, full of potential and grace. Negative confessions will not keep you back, nor will difficulties cause you to lose confidence in me. I have given you strength, ability, and courage to enable you in any situation or problem that may arise, no matter how great. Now, if there be anything in your mind or heart that holds back your further growth and advance in faith, put it aside now. Let not what you feel is wrong in my teachings, as you think it, bind you from doing all that you are capable of. I have made you for great things, purposed you for a life of blessing, and established you to overshadow any darkness that should come your way. Lean on me now, my beloved, I am faithful, I will come through. The promises that have been spoken this day, you will see. You do not know or feel, but be assured I work out all things for good. When the timing is right and you are fully prepared, then I'll open up for you the doors to opportunities necessary in fulfillment of your desires, your dreams, your labors. In the meanwhile, keep on believing and having faith in me. Renew your spirit through my word. Bathe in it, speak it, declare its truth over your life, and I promise you it will be a new beginning for you. Change your attitude, and you will change your life. So, do not, therefore give up, budge on. I am always behind you to support you. As my dear child, let me assure you of my dearest wish for your happiness and success in all spheres of life. Please, Dar, my child, don't forget that faith comes by hearing and hearing by my word. Through faith, you shall be able to do all things you would want to do. Arise, go on, and don't be weary of speaking my word. Arise with determination and valor. Now bless and do not curse, for the power and authority to bind every obstacle and negativity that may be hindering the blessing today passes through your mouth. Bless, therefore, with faith, well-being, and prosperity over your life, your children, and the generations. With the success of all the projects you will ever undertake, with all your goals and all your projects realized, Amen. Truly you trust in me and I will enlighten your life like the light at dawn, increasing in brightness so the day has no shadows. Today sound your voice with the claim that you are already victorious in Christ Jesus. And when the dark shadows of hopelessness appear, and when wrestling with the more challenging points of life, I will stand beside you. You are never left behind. Agony. I am your shelter through your sorrows. I am your source of light. And to this world, I am your standing ground. I sit beside you and see each step taken. I long for you to turn around and see how deep my love is for you. Do not be with fear of my words. You are not fighting alone. Trust in me and be a witness to your faith when you know that my strength is far greater than any that could rise against you. I want to encourage you to not give in to despair. Do not be overwhelmed. 
nor give up in the battle set before you by life. And though the pathway ahead may seem dim and its hurdles too high to mount, never forget there will always be a light that shines in the darkness. Keep your faith. Believe that everything comes for a reason, even the ones that bring the most torment to our soul. It is for that simple reason, my child, that today I want to tell you, don't lose hope in everything you're going through. When you feel that things are not bearable, stop a little and listen to my voice within you. I am the voice of hope, telling and reminding you that you are not alone in this struggle. Nothing is lost, but even more so, you are a winner. Remember, you are my child, the expression of my love in this world. You are my unique and special creation. I have called you to live in victory and blessing, so there isn't anything standing in your way if you will just trust in me. Don't quit, keep going forward, even when weariness overwhelms you and the only thing remaining with you is tears. Know deep inside that you can still rise once again. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Dear one, remember, I am always there to support you. No burden is too burdensome that I cannot lift it off you. No problem too complicated that I cannot untangle it for you. If you open the doors of your life to me and follow after me, you will see how all the obstacles slide away and the answers begin to appear. So, no problem should make you hesitate when you feel like praying to me, for I am more than willing to listen. Now, stand up and realize that with every rising sun, there comes a new start. You might as well not cling to the mistakes done before. Face forward with hope and steady move. Do not give up. You are here for a reason, a journey to begin, and a destiny to fulfill. Let not hardships turn you sideways and let not darkness extinguish the light within you. Have trust in me and in the design I've planned for your being, even when life's route seems tortuous, with the faith that all is finally planned for your welfare and growth. Let me take you through rough times, and I promise, the peace that you look for will be yours. Join us to deepen your love for Jesus. Tap join for exclusive teachings and fellowship. Let's grow together in faith and grace. Resist succumbing to despondency, be on your journey, and my love and forgiveness are with you in every step. All I want is that you believe in me. Allow me to be able to enclose you in my arms and whisper to you the love that burns in my heart for you. For you are loved beyond measure and beyond any human understanding. Be strong and of good courage, my beloved child. And when the storm might turn over your boat, you can then surely sail because I will be your strength, the light in the darkness, and the anchor that will stabilize your life. Trust in my love will be the shield protecting you and the breath spurring you on. Today is your time, child. No matter how many trials, tests, or tribulations come upon you, keep moving forward without ceasing. My love stands sure before you. Keep pressing on and cheer up your heart. For however bad things may seem, remember, I am your rock, and my love is that which guides you toward better days. Dearest one, be very bold today in your steps of faith, knowing without a doubt that I am holding your life in my loving hands. Never again shall you walk alone, for with me by your side, every obstacle that comes your way shall be surmounted, and in me you shall find peace, happiness, and the abundance for which you are searching. My love is boundless forever, dearest. Today, boldly declare that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Amen. Beloved, listen to the whispers of my spirit, calling out to you. The miracle that your soul longs for is nearer than it has ever been. Let faith anchor you firm against life's storms. Now, I invite you to pour your heart out before me, Unburden yourself of secret sorrows. Tell me your deepest needs, and believe with unwavering conviction that I shall answer. Then you'll find not only a solution but a pathway of peace for the unrest within. Do not turn from my words. Let them caress your spirit, easing the places that ache. I will walk closely with you all through the day, enwrapping you in my constant presence. I'm going to guide you on right paths in my embrace. My desire is to still the anxious thoughts racing within you and to make your worried heart sure when those worries breed fear. You have no cause to fear. My dear one, your Father in heaven has come, holding your hand in the dark, 
renewing your strength when you feel you can't go another step. It's just the truth. Through me, you are able. And I give you strength for the next step ahead. I take great pleasure in seeing you prosper, living the destiny that I have planned for you. Sometimes your mind becomes foggy with doubts, hanging mist. You wonder if my promises could ever come to pass, or if I will answer before the night grows old and gray. And in this midnight hour, all alone, sleep eludes. As fearful whispers come that all is lost, you are unloved. But hear me, beloved, those lying voices are not your identity. You will not become what they say. No one but I determines the course of your life. Abiding in me keeps any external force from really damaging your soul. Remember, above all, that nobody knows you like I do. Even now, I speak hope and truth to the deepest places of your heart. My love for you goes higher than the highest heavens, wider than the farthest galaxies. It's my joy to see my dreams for you fulfilled. All things are possible with my spirit residing within. The mistakes of your past pose no barrier to the blessings I have in store for you. Determine this day to walk ever closer with me, steeping your soul in the words I speak today. I am bringing faded dreams back and forgotten passions. The embers of your soul shall glow red-hot with renewed desire. My power shall awaken spiritual senses unto wonders you have never known. You saw not how my hand could move at will when you called. Shall he who bore his cross stumble at an insult or an injury? I pardoned for love of you. And now heaven's storehouse of mercies lies open. Then mark this day how to stride forward into your destiny without the encumbrance of those words which do not wish you well. Pay no attention to those envious voices that would like to dull your giftings. Just stay close to me, dear one, and I will shine on the pathway to your purpose. Just hold fast to this. Nothing can stop your footfalls if I order your path. Just rest in the truth that my love for you is deep, and discouragement will not overtake you. When you stumble, my hand is there to catch you. When affliction comes, my grace rushes to cover you. And when you call, then I shall answer certainly, revealing mysteries and wonders. Then call for me today with expectant faith. Have I not proved myself to you again and again? Have not my words echoed in your ear through the seasons, promising to meet your need with more and more abundance? Even now, you can feel my peace filling you. Believe and work hard at that believing. Be persistent in prayer. My timing is perfect, and I will bring the answers before you. The day of fulfillment draws near when I will deliver long-awaited miracles into your hands, O oh, treasured one. Now, pause and receive my words, words overflowing with tenderness and strength. In this moment, I desire you to feel deeply comforted, fully known. Let your tears flow to the ground to release burdens others have laid upon you. Be anchored in my promises, find peace in me. I am ever with you, even in your loneliness. I do see what life's trials have cut into your flesh, but hear me, I am here to heal, console, and lift you up. Over and over, I urge you, do not be afraid. Cling close to me so that my voice reverberates in your inner self. At moments of doubt, am I always speaking to you my deep love for you? On the pathway of life, surprises of grief may surprise your soul. For that path ahead, I'm going to give you strength. In my grace, you are enough to have victory. You can be standing tall in my enabling, fully empowered by my spirit. Inside, my eyes look beyond today's storm clouds to the calm that I have prepared for you, a calm full of joy and sweet release from fear's grip. You will dance after the deluge in merry abandon while pouring out blessings for others from my storehouse within. And as you pass on what I have given, even more abundance will overflow your life. In this season of unfolding miracles, stand strong. Lay weights of unbelief aside. Seek me early, often renewing your trust. Even as attacks aim to erode your confidence, I fortify your heart in my presence. When doubts assail, I see your weariness, but I am reviving your soul once more. Return to the path of childlike faith, immersing yourself afresh in my living word until you are vibrant with hope. O oh, beloved Dawa, I long to deepen your awareness of your priceless worth to me. No failure or triumph changes my extravagant love for you. 
All you have walked through has prepared you for the purpose I have designed uniquely for your life. Do not concentrate on perceived weaknesses of the ones closest to you. Maturity takes time. The transformation has already begun. The people standing by your side now will come out changed, my dear. Now a fierce battle rages on unseen realms. I call you to arise in faith. There will be obstacles to surmount, but your triumph is certain while you persist in prayer. Seek my face early and often, committing thyself to intercession. Then is the time coming of dramatic outpourings of my spirit, miracles of provision that will carve a way for multitudes to encounter my love. As you steward these gifts, blessings will overtake you. This is an era of acceleration. Determination and bold faith are vital now. Lay down anxiety. Renew your trust in me. I am dispelling fear today, setting your heart afire to stand in courage for everything else that will be. Over this battle, you are rewarded. Your identity buried beneath all the layers of distorted belief systems, I'm exposing. You are so dear to me, dear one, yesterday and today and in eternity. Whatever is in your past, everything has been preparing you toward your destiny. There is a purpose in your pain. Do not focus on loved one's weaknesses, as they are in the process of maturing themselves. It will take time for everyone to grow. But the people around you now will not stay that way. Lift your eyes. Dear one, through you, miracles shall abound. This is your hour of fulfillment. Be glad, for your weeping shall be turned into dancing. Victory is assured to the one who believes. Now, arise and take hold of all that I have in store for you. The earth awaits the revealing of my sons and daughters. It is your time. Share this video with up to three people. If you need God's presence, shine brightly for me. My dear child, listen to these words of your eternal father. In a few months from now, miracle changes will unfold in your family. Keep praying. Be strong in faith. The things happening now have a happy ending. What has been tearing at your home will end up bringing renewed happiness, peace, and harmony among those dearest to you. Yet first I warn you, come to me with your anxieties and supplications. Let no anger, no impatience, Take from you the joy so long waited for, soon to be yours. Slow to speak the words of hurt, comparing none to another. Rules are necessary, commandments must be in place, yet raise no voice in enforcement. Insult not, demean none. When discipline must be given, still yourself first. Take minutes to calm your spirit. Ask me to grasp your hand and breathe courage into your soul before advising loved ones. I will help you speak with grace not wrath. From the rising to the setting of the sun I am with you. Even as you slumber, I abide near, communion through my word, sending dreams, revealing my plan for you. Thou shalt awake with joy and strength. The coming changes shall develop without hindrance. I will not suffer you to be tried above your strength. If overburdened above strength, believe my pledge, thou shalt endure. The prize, the goal, the recompense bar are just in front a little farther along the way. Mine is the power to enable thee to finish thy course. Receive thy reward. Mighty is the power that I give to you, to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon all the works of evil. Yet none of the weapons formed against you shall prosper. And so, I want you to stand assured, steadfast, sure about the good things drawing near. Let this faith meet every dawn, and bring my heart gladness by our ongoing fellowship. I will reveal the wonders at work in your life. My dear one, listen to this. Nothing happens without a purpose. So cease now from fearing tests, turning your back on enemies, or forsaking your righteous cause when the prayers seem to go unanswered. Believe. When you cry out for me, believe that your help will not be far away. I bow down, extending empty hands to my benefactor. Did I not instill within you the capacity for trust? Now expect, then, to get what you don't yet see. This will fortify you for battle. You will win. Take no notice if they laugh at and discredit you with a nice smirk on their faces as they think they can squash you in a second. Little do they know that even seeing they would not believe. Has everybody forgotten that your father created all worlds? Let the opposers take note. No one who threatens what is mine will go unchallenged. 
Though weak in thine own self, taking my hand stiffens thee to overcome. Even where nature fails and means are lost, I am thy rock, thy refuge, thy protector. Therefore, fear not to stand as champion in my cause for the help of souls against perils. Thou dost more than thou art able, for I have chosen thee for mine own champion. The courage of heaven is thy buckler. If thou uses my words, at thy words thou shalt repel diseases, and whole hosts shall flee. My gracious spirit pours upon you. Stand tall, beloved child, and let this outpouring come in upon you. Love, whether circumstances prosper or decay, is alive in days glad or gloomy. Talking with me is no burden when you perceive through the lens of faith. So I urge you, trust that I am ready to speak to you wherever you are. Cry aloud, and I'll answer. Come apart to hear. My presence shall envelop thee until anxieties melt away. I will not leave thee nor forsake thee to wander in fear and darkness. At each new dawn, I knock upon the door of thine heart. Rise early, ere thy household be astir, and come thou to meet me in thine own secret place. Kneel silently, and thus at the altar of prayer begin thy communion with me. Bring to our meeting place no hypocrisy. Come needy, trusting, expecting your Father to provide. Lay bare your heart, don't consider any concern too small to bring before my throne of grace. Your honest petitions are beautiful to me. Yes, you aligned priorities with wisdom, seeking first my kingdom. So here is a decree from the Almighty, fear no lack, waver not, keep asking, believing you receive, plead for your future, your prosperity, your family, bind renewal of health and strength to all of your children, the young and the grown ones. In front of me bring back even the kinsmen who spurn you. I will undo their disdain. One day the scornful will return contrite, smitten with conscience, no longer underestimating your worth. Repay no wrongs of your. Only forgiveness and blessings should pass your lips. Stand back now and just watch what I will do. My spirit can even melt the hardest of hearts. Soon enough, they shall see my hand of favor on your life and wish they never shunned you. When it happens, you must meet them gracefully and not in reproach. My dear, hold fast to this, my promise. You have only to persevere in prayer, and all needed help shall be given. Fear no approaching trials or conflicts. Stay your mind on me alone, and no distress shall unnerve you. I touch you now with my hand of strength. Receive anew my love, my peace, my patience. Have I not filled you with boldness and zeal despite raging storms? Soon, very soon, I will command the storms to stillness and send divine calm as waves to swallow up every storm. Where you walked in weeping shall resound with laughter. Arise, beloved, and lift high your crown of victory, for this is your portion, my treasured son, my precious daughter, my child. I understand that you get frustrated and feel like giving up your hope, but do not give in to despair falter in trusting my promises. Yes, it, this path has been grueling. At times, you felt abandoned, and I haven't, ever. When you are weary, come to me and find rest. Let me revive and restore your soul. Drink deeply of my living waters, my word, my spirit, my presence. For as you drink deeply from these waters, so I shall nourish you and satisfy the deepest longings of your soul. And in you, Desert places shall bloom and flourish. For my plans for you are good. For my sake, that my name is mentioned, I will lead you on paths of righteousness. I am with you through the valley of shadows. My rod and my staff comfort thee. There is purpose for this journey of thine. In my perfect time, but it shall be known to thee. For now, trust in my goodness, even when you cannot trace my hand. Then be assured that I am working all things for good for those who love me. The present troubles are momentary, but the glory that I have prepared for you is eternal, imperishable, undefiled. Look not at what is visible, but what is invisible. For what is visible is passing away, and my kingdom is unshakable, everlasting. Yes, battles rage fiercely, and some days the war seems lost, but my beloved, the victory has already been won. Evil shall not triumph over you, 
and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the might of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You are sealed, protected, delivered from the dominion of darkness. What I promised, I am able also to perform. That long night of weeping will come to an end. Joy comes in the morning. The day is coming, near indeed, that your mouth shall be filled with laughter and your tongue with rejoicing shouts. It shall be in that time, the fortunes of your house shall be restored to even greater glory than before. Then beauty shall rise from ashes. Those who scorned you shall bow down unto thee, acknowledging the truthfulness of my words. And thou, my beloved, shalt be a shining witness unto my glory and grace. Your story is going to bring hope into other souls that are worn out. They will find strength from your strength, which comes from me alone, since my power is perfected in weakness. All the straining has not been in vain. Soon understanding will flood your mind as you look upon the harvest reaped through pain. You seek real change, not in just words and ideas. I understand, and I am here to promise complete renewal of heart, mind, life, family, future. I do what's impossible, and my being in your spirit makes it so. Without me, you are nothing, but I'm telling you really, if you abide in me, then you shall ask whatever you will, and it shall be done. What's more, your requests are not too big or too small for me. So believe in this promise despite what circumstances scream. At times I delay answers to test and purify faith. Other times, apparent knows or divine protection, as I see what you cannot. But no matter, my definite yes stands forever to every child who abides in my love. No prayer uttered sincerely ever falls void. Be assured, all will be answered at my perfect timing. Yet again I see weariness weighing upon you. You wake up with such eagerness, knowing that I love you and that I am always with you. But soon enough, duties and distractions strangle the potential of the many moments you could have shared with me until the cares overwhelm and peace flees. My living water is still accessible to you, but you stopped drinking it when you felt strong. Now faith withers like plants that go uncatered. Today, I warn not to shame you but to spare you future regrets. You may feel okay at this moment, but just as lack of water causes undetectable damage at first, so spiritual apathy breeds gradual decay. The crumbling goes unseen until total collapse. Let today be a defining day. Commit to me in whole devotion and sincerity, not chasing titles or human acclaim, serving me out of genuine love. Sever ties with every person who speaks light but brings to you nothing but darkness and deception in my name. I am calling for an intimate relationship with a humble, contrite heart that longs to be filled anew with my spirit. Will you, dear one? Come now into this private place of my presence. Let me envelop you as you surrender all, dreams, fears, past, future, even your very breath. Now let go of the right to self-governance in your life. I will set a course from here. In this surrender is your freedom to receive new power remolding transformation beyond any wild imagination. The old will pass away. Behold, I do a new thing. My child, you're never lost to opposing forces, though they had set out to ruin your life and take your joy from you. Share this video with up to three people. If you need God's presence, I will renew you with my grace. Know that you have many fruitful years ahead, and these you shall live unto me. Keep on seeking to know of me and to grow strong in faith, Trust in my promises. I say to you that you shall scatter armies that are mustered against you. You shall break down walls that bar you in, and you shall do exploits in times of necessity. And when you do come to the end, as it were, you shall see my hand splitting obstacles, making a way and raining down upon you every blessing. Run for cover to me in times of pressure. This battle is not for one to fight in his own strength. For I made you bold that you might trust my word and go forward in confidence, knowing that my hand is upon you to protect. Let them boast their own weaknesses, you as one to keep trusting and fiducially imbibing in me. You will excel, others as you faithfully follow my ways. I comprehend there will be those periods in time when you trip, feel weak, and unwilling to press on. For those moments I came, died on the cross, and rose again with power and in glory to lift you up at challenging times, helping you always. 
I am near to you, for I will listen when you cry upon me and answer unreservedly as you question and ask of me. I never wish to leave you. This is my promise and my bond, valid, ever mindful. Raise your cries and I will answer, showcasing marvels you cannot believe. I am the forgiving and merciful your God. Start each day with me. I cannot wait to shower you with love. In heaven day, blessings roll out addressing you by name. I know what I am planning about you. Please give me complete trust between heaven and earth. So much is in alignment for your sake. I have declared an irreversible verdict to supply you abundantly, to be in no one's debt, to render you supernaturally wise, and to crown each member of your family with specially prepared blessings. I did not do this by accident. It was pre-designed for you. I loved you before you were formed, and beautiful things have I prepared for you. First among them is my eternal love. I loved you when afar, and I loved you when you returned. My child, if you think I grow angry and distant due to occasional failures, you are wrong. Your mistakes do not alarm me. I will not discard you for sin. When you come, burdened with sorrow and truth-speaking repentance, I do love your very errors. I see your heart and reasons, and I treasure your honesty. Not any else can deceive me. Some pretend to perfection and come into my courts to accuse those who are not like them. Yet you do not. You do not criticize nor avow the superiority of yours. Your spirit is gentle, your manner kind, and your thoughts pure. When you stumble, rise up confidently in faith. Let no man judge thee, none has the right. Coming daily before me, come with this firm conviction, with humility, desiring to listen. I will pour upon you many blessings. I know that wealth is not thy seeking, thy heart would be for thy family's shelter and for their sustenance. Trust that I shall provide this and even greater things. I will prepare thee to see doors open before thee to vistas untold. Fear not to go forward, for even now wonders unfold at your feet. New faces offering new possibilities will walk into your life as never before. Troubles will, with your trust and waiting, be transformed into blessings and peace with plenty. Most of all gifts are surely yours, for you have my ceaseless love. Trust me to guide your life for the highest good. Ask my counsel every morning in prayer. Search my written word. In my presence find refuge from turmoil without. Here in our sacred meeting place is the refuge you require for rest and renewal. The time with me is never wasted but rather invests itself into years of favor. Love me fully with all your mind, essence, and might. Reject thoughts that weigh on your soul. Take cover under my wings that spread widely in times of great fear and chaos when the families are strained and the loyalty is gone. Shield yourself from the onslaughts of life that will drain you of your very will. In my presence, be refreshed in spirit, reignite your faith, and negate the negativity in your life. Turn away from the naysayers that seek me not, that know me not. Heed not the ones that offer strenuous success, wary of sacrifice, uncaring of need other sons, and feed the hungry and give drink to the thirsty, and those that grieve may rejoice. In serving your family true blessings and do not fear that you will have somehow not enough vexations, for indeed your abode is full, the work of your hand will flourish, for you have honored me above all, obeying my precepts. When you have rejected dishonest gain, for you are appointed to rise above want and treachery, withdraw from the company of those who flatter you into wickedness. My child, I crave the spot in your heart reserved for me alone. Let nothing short of the whole confidence, whole consecration, and wholehearted truthfulness be yours to give me. Believe for my promises. Or if you have already known the blessing, how much more liberal is that which is yet to come? For this is the portion of the obedient-hearted who set themselves to gaze on me. Beloved child, I see the tempests that are surging through your existence. Be encouraged. What you are passing through shall pass, but what I have for you will never fail. When you feel weak and incapable in the center of all the riot, come leaned on me and I'll hug you. Somehow, in me, I'll breathe strength back into your spirit again. You will fulfill the purpose I created you for, my precious child. That assignment that I wrote over your life goes into eternity, and realize this mystery. It is often through the storm that the path that I ordained for you will travel. 
But mine is the voice that curses the battering wind and commands stillness to being furious. Roaring seas. You have nothing to dread as we make this journey together. Let my peace quiet your anxious thoughts. Even now, I am always with you to lift your eyes above life's distractions. When you fix your gaze upon me, you gain proper perspective. Situations that loom large from an earthly vantage shrink to proper size in view of my sovereign authority over all things. Circumstances cannot deter the fulfillment of my purposes through you. Dear one, you are a part, though you know it not, of my story, the eternal tale that is full of wonder, joy, and hope beyond what your finite little mind can conceive. The author and finisher of this grand saga have decreed your place with me with irrevocable certainty. What I have purposed in the coming seasons of your life shall come to pass, and nothing shall stand in your way. You were born for such a time as this. If you have doubts about your worth or about your importance to me, come with confidence into my throne of grace, so that there I may confirm you in truths that never fail. My love is as deep as the heavens are high. I made you a treasure beyond price and crowned you with glory and honor. And if you have lost sight of this under the condemnation of others, come to me with this problem first. Let my gaze of joy wash through your wounds before you respond. Then, from a healed and conciliatory soul, you can lead gently the captive who are still in darkness. Honest people sometimes say things that pierce hearts, but my grace is more than enough for you allowing human weakness to become the stage for divine power. Wake each day with tremendous expectation, dear one, with your soul listening to me. This new day that is breaking has glimpses of the wonders that I have in store, especially for you. There is not one moment of time that need be spent on yesterday's sorrows or old hurts. Yesterday's tears water seeds of joy that will bloom in due season. But today is full of my goodness, fresh mana to nourish your soul anew, Receive it with thanks. As you go through your day, you will encounter divine appointments that I have set up for you. Listen to promptings from within, however soft. Obedience in the small things equips you for elevation into greater spheres of influence. As you turn the corner of a city block, you may come right into the path of someone who needs that hope in you. When you trust that I will manifest through you, then the supernatural happens. I see discouraging news that comes to flood your days, filling your thoughts with gloom. Beloved, do not meditate long on the forces of darkness that seek to overwhelm this age. Keep your spirit attuned to the symphony of heaven rather than the cacophony of earth. As you stand centered in me, we pen areas of grace into human tragedy. We sing the song of redemption over prodigals yet wandering. We see eternal perspective in temporal discouragement. When you are tired, do not judge yourself as weak or lacking in determination. Your strength comes from my indwelling spirit, not from anything within yourself. There is no place for pride in my way of thinking. Come into the chamber of my presence. Lay the weights you are carrying at my feet thankfully and gratefully, and do not bring any pretenses. There, in the humility of stance, will I lift you up and refresh your soul. And we shall laugh together over the teas that I have prepared as sweet intimacies between us are nourished to your spirit with joy. Whatever challenges you today, take heart, I tell you. For my spirit living in you is greater than anything that rises today or any other day to be against you. I will make you wise beyond your years. Composure will baffle your adversaries. Endurance will outlast every trial. Walk in the bold confidence that I go before you to fight, behind you to guard, under you to lift, above you to cover, for you are mine. Every provision of heaven stands at your disposal, so lift up your head, beloved, and go boldly into the land that I have promised you. All bounds have fallen to you in goodly places. Yea, you have an exceedingly good inheritance. Do not shrink back from claiming what is rightfully yours. As my blood-purchased son, my lovely daughter, some of the greatest victories of your life are just ahead. What I have promised, I will make good. Look to me to take you higher than you could ever imagine. My dear child, I know that in the recesses of your heart, there is an aching heart, but do not lose hope. Neither doubt my faithfulness during long seasons of waiting. Hang on to this. The reliability of my promises has nothing to do with the reliability of your feelings. 
Feelings are often as unreliable as the weather. My love for you is as constant as the tide. I allow delays to test and refine your trust in me. But fear not, for the longing I planted within you for me will never be out of line with my designs. I put holy discontent in you, so that first and foremost, you would be driven to seek me and find contentment. Nothing less than our symbiotic oneness satisfies. Life as you know it feels like one long battle, and you are always wrestling to hear my voice above all other voices. You live exiled from the peace-filled garden that was my original design for humanity. Working under thorn and thistle conditions I never meant for you to endure. But oh, beloved, hasten the dawning when I shall call you home to the garden, our sanctuary of beauty, peace, and belonging that cannot be found in any earthly paradise. Until then, I cause within you rivers of joy, the streams whereof make glad the city of God, rivers that suffice to water their furrows in the lives of others. The fullness of what the earth can no longer take or give is stored within you. I keep your steps strong through the deepest valleys, deeper than you dare go. I shield your minds with my spirit in perfect peace. When anxiety grips the world, you can thrive in full dependence on me. Thereby, necessity will have become the mother of renewed trust by releasing vain efforts toward self-sufficiency. Radiant hope shines, like the first blush of dawn, upon the horizon of your heart. Do not listen to my words and attempt to judge the credibility of my voice by fleeting emotions that repeatedly mask reality. What I have spoken over you remains, and what is on the tablets of heaven will materialize in their proper time. So until your faith sees the answered prayers, dine, banquet on glorious promises that cannot fail. Let your roots be deep in scripture, that fertile soil from which spring up all wisdom, guidance, and discernment. Its ancient yet ageless principles nourish soul soil tenderly when chafed by life's abrasions. Meditate on such counsel daily to flourish even in the drought of waiting, for the word I had spoken contains all the nourishment necessary to blossom into destiny. Giants of fear, anxiety, and lack stand stubbornly between you and all that I have prepared for your future. But beloved, refusal to engage in warfare grants by default these enemies rule over land I designated as your inheritance. Arise, be bold, take up promises from my word as weapons. Stone by stone, tear down every mental stronghold of wrong assumptions that cloud your eyes from seeing. Be strong to move forward and possess the blessings lying within your area of influence. Do not forget to keep the regular time of fellowship with me, dear. Just as quality time nourishes human relationships, so does your priority time with me nourish your soul. The vitality of every other relationship hangs in the balance of ours. Guard against lesser loves encroaching on the highest and the best. Come away now with me a while into the chambers of my heart. Set frantic mental activity aside, just be still. Eternal treasures of wisdom and revelation, in transcendent joy here, belong to those resting in my presence. Ask for keys to unlock the mysteries that your soul longs to understand. Knock boldly upon doors that seemed once impenetrable. Believe without wavering, and watch closed doors swing open before you. The resources of heaven itself's kingdom await simply your request. No matter what rages outside, you have full access to my divine peace. Storm winds cannot invade the sanctuary of my presence. Bind anxiety and cast care upon me, beloved. Trust my kingship over every domain. Refuse to be poisoned by the paralyzing poison of fear. Clasp courage's emboldening staff. I am holding your life securely. Take comfort, all things unfold within boundaries I permit. Consider the circle drawn in sand, protecting those within from vicious attack. So I encircle around you and your loved ones. When turmoil surrounds your borders, remain steadfast inside circles of prayer, faith, and trust while I defend beyond. You don't have to understand the schemes that I block and the plans I derail. Only marvel as I make attacks work to your good. Endless mercy overflows from my inmost being toward you. Even human words used to bless could not begin to describe the opulence of my love toward you. But dear one, look through my words and into my eyes, those windows from which spill the affection, the delight, the kindness, and the mercy I have toward you throughout eternity. Rest most deep cradled there, in the safe of my look. 
The devil seeks to discredit my judgment, leveling charges from your history. But finished is the dominion of sin, banished are its accusations against you. You retreat and I advance to plead. Marvel as declarations of my acceptance flood out those charges. Silence that voice that maligns you. Be lifted up by applauding cheers from heavenly hosts cheering for you. There is only one voice that names you, and that's mine. Though earth assails and conscience accuses, grip the truth declared from my throne like a life raft and hold on, no matter what. No stain of past or present failure prevents me from running to embrace the returning child. I spoke no idle words when I promised, repentance secures indestructible belonging. Let that change your thinking of yourself, let that shape you. You will always be my loved, lovely, and faultless one. Now come away with me into our secret garden of the heart. Lay down weariness, feed on joy in my presence. But yesterday's manna cannot feed today's hunger. Consistent times in my presence renew vision, give strength to your inner being, and resilience from taps of grace flows freely. When you will be satisfied with flowing streams in this place that I have prepared for you, take confidence in my words. No weapon raised against you will establish itself. Constrained now, but soon you'll surge upon this scene at my hour, and you'll never be held back again. The delay and darkness of this season create in you a stubborn faith that takes hold of my promises without flinching. Those who would limit you and make you small will step back and marvel at the favor and authority with which I cover you before their very eyes. Have a care. Therefore, in these veiled wanderings of the wilderness, choose to worship, refuse grumbling, reject victim mentalities. Keep walking, by faith, when the way makes no sense. Think about the Israelites journeying through, who voiced faith in my promises even while earth swallowed their oppressors. Exodus from Egypt into an uncharted desert did test reliance upon me for each step and provision. But a generation sifted and prepared to receive at last the land promised to their fathers, so am I now to lead thee through obscurity into a spacious place. I silence scoffers while preparing a platform displaying your gifts. Your dormant season nurtures a tenacious trust in my words alone, a vital foundation for the visibility and influence I am preparing for you. Now steady your heart in the certainty that I already possess blueprints to the breathtaking future in store for you. Yet do not despair, beloved. The hour of your liberation draws near. It shall be a bud of change, sprouting from even the most barren quarters. Though you still walk in the shadowy part of the valley, celestial brightness already crests the horizon. Weeping's night is soon to give place to joy. Prepare your heart for celebration, sweet vindication. Very soon, emerging opportunities are going to thrust open doors once tightly shut, the doors ushering you onto platforms prepared especially for you. They that did loathe and disdain you shall be confounded and stand afar off at the favor branding you chosen. Yes, many changes, even now, take place to confirm my word over your life. Lift up your head, for the day of breakthrough has dawned over you. Share this video with up to three people, if you need God's presence. Amen.